everyone. Hi, Welcome. guys. Oh. Happy Halloween. Might work a little bit better for now. What? Setting the light off. Setting the light off? Yeah, I think yeah. we have too much of a glare. Yeah, All right, well, welcome everyone to our live stream. Yeah. Again, uh, don't mind the crap in the back because uh, we're moving in like five days, so. <laughs> yeah, so you'll have to bear with us. Then. You'll have to bear with um, us with the. Uh, if our audio is too quiet, you'll have to let us know. Yeah. Uh, but here we go. We're playing a bunny kill whore bunny boiler. Hey, Crunchy! Crunchy! Happy Halloween! <laughs> we are recording this, Crunchy, so. You're welcome to have it when it's done. Yeah, that is true. We are recording this. But we're playing... Look, there he is! Hey, Crunchy Fried Games! <laughs> In case anyone's wondering, we're doing the Roaring Twenties. <laughs> this year, as our theme for Halloween costumes. <laughs> Exciting stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, here we now, go. Now, we did play part one of this. This is part two. Yes. Um... Well, we were going to the, if I remember right, there was a... There was some crazy It was like chick. quiz night at a bar we were going to now. Yes. Which I totally forget everything from the first yeah. <laughs> From the, uh... Crunchy will be seen in this game, by the way. I'm will sure. he? Hey, Burning! Burning's here! So I found a place for my job interview. It was like this old new castle on a hill. I mean, it was meant to be old, but it had only just been built. Yes. Yes, next. I met the man. Okay, so this is like a recap. Oh, trick and trick treat. Trick and treat. Oh, wait, we gotta get the treats for the dogs. Oh, shoot. Okay, hold on. One second, hold on. All right, he's going. He's running. He's going. Do you see them? You got I don't know them? how we're going to get them to see the I don't know stuff. how they're... <laughs> I don't know how this is going to work here, for we'll just okay. we'll just do it like this. Mavis, come up here. Come on. Come here, Mavis. Up. Come on. Up. Mavis. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Is it because it's not this chair? Yeah, it's not here. the big chair. I'll move so she can get in the big chair. <laughs> Come here, pup. Get in the big chair. Come here. Now she can. <laughs> now she can get in. You were blocking her from coming Come in. Here. Hey. Go in the big chair. There you okay. go. Yep. <laughs> Sit. She's like, I can't. I'm in a chair. She didn't sit. See? There she she's, kind of sits. I mean, she's sitting on the... Oh, careful, puppy. Right, right. There we go. Here. Why you should have had her speak? Well, that's the best we can do for Trinity okay. with the, our current flooring layout. <laughs> Sorry, Burning, but we can't do any better for you. Great day to use that. Yeah, I know. We got all this <laughs> stuff in the back. We're actually uh, going to be moving here on... Thursday. Thursday. We're going to get the keys, so... Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, where were we? I met this mad receptionist called Fluffy or something. She stole my phone. Then the boss man, Oswald Mandy's. He gave the dog a treat. That counts. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, oh, Crunchy also says we'll about... get a recap. Hope you both doing well. I've, right. I've noticed that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we are doing well, Crunchy. We are doing well. Uh, I don't know if you knew this, but we actually bought a house. We did. And we we're did moving. Buy a house. Yeah. So. Thursday is our closing date. <laughs> So that weekend we will be moving in. Yes. Uh, I met the, uh, Oswald Mandius. Uh, talked a little gibberish about the past was better and how I'd make a worthy servant. Yes, I did. I did. Congrats. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you. Sorry we didn't tell you. All right. Yeah, did you read? You got one. it. Yeah. Oh man, these gloves. I can't. <laughs> I can't do it with the gloves. <laughs> I gotta take. Then the there was off, a guys, semi-naked sorry. girl doing <laughs> yoga called. Elflied, or something weird. Her sister had vanished, but she didn't seem to care much. By the way, there is an uncensored version. Yes, for those <laughs> we, of you We are that aware of that. that. <laughs> <laughs> then I found out... Th yeah, also an uncensored... Then I found out there were doing crazy censored. drug experiments <laughs> on the people who did my job, and even the sister for rebelling. Yes? Yes. Then she was like a... Yeah, yeah they, there's they, the crazy I chick. found a sister. She also had a strange name. Ostintia. But she was yeah, this I mean, vicious zombie thing from the drugs. I escaped when she tore the guard to pieces. Yes. And then there were dire wolves. Did I mention there were dire wolves? <laughs> <laughs> there, oh, there is Crunchy. Like, there see? he is. There's Crunchy. The only sounds are the footsteps of the pavement as your friends contemplate your story in silence. So begins Claire. I always love people's pronunciation. Oh, Cynthia. <laughs> Uh, did you get the job or not? This isn't going to be like that time you got sacked from the library. 
but still went in every day rearranging the shelves and shushing people, asked Dave. <laughs> no, you say. But the boss man is the pub landlord, too. When he spots that I've left my post, I don't know what he's going to do. Uh, well, let's find out, shall we? Says Dave cheerfully. The Clayton Tavern has a trophy with our name on it after uh -huh, you. Yes. <laughs> Uh, okay. Out. Next. All right. Welcome to the Bunny Hill Horror Bunny Boiler. This is a graphic novel adventure in which you progress by clicking the options beneath the scene text. When you collect an icon or an item, an icon will appear, which you can click to on to examine or use. The icon will flash when it can be used. Sound and general options are in the top right. And well, that about does it. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's do this. All right. Yes. Ah, oh, look at the tavern. You America. You I like that. It says America on the top. Yeah. Marcia. Oh, Marcia. No, totally America. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You approach the Clayton Tavern, whose orange lights Dollar took turbid. look appealing from uh, the cold totally drizzling different. of the evening. The sight of the rough and serious looking man in the doorway is enough for your friends to slow down, leaving you in the front to take charge. <laughs> My dad had to take that photo because of lockdown. Ah, I see. Uh huh. So this is an actual pub. The sight, then. the sight of the rough. Are you gonna let me finish reading, or are you just gonna oh, scroll away? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, uh, I'm getting to your excited. left is a nearly empty car park, several sh shops down, but this area of the suburbs holds no other attraction. Okay. All right. So can I uh, scroll down now? Yes. Yeah, scroll down. Look at our options. Yeah. Right. And at the bottom, talk to the man. Go to the car park. Head off home. Apparently, there are multiple endings too. Crunchy is, has mentioned things. Oh goodness. Okay. Well, let's see what we get today. <laughs> All right. Well, I think the obvious thing to do is to enter the pub. All right. Well, you don't want to talk to the man? I mean, you can talk to the man. Or go to the car park. I mean, we have so many options here. But why would we go to the car park? I don't know. To look at the cars? We're going to the pub for <laughs> a quiz night. All right. You don't want to talk, okay, to, talk the to the man? talk to the man. All right. Let's talk to the man. Ah, I like his biker jacket. Yes. You look familiar, he says. We're calling the guard on Bunny Hill... Who got torn open like a child's birthday present wrapping? You're thinking of my brother, the guard says. <laughs> How is Big Bad Bob these days? He's fine, you say, a little too quickly. He's fine. He's fine. It's okay. Everything's fine. Okay, so who are you? Work at the castle. Let me in. Ask Claire for help. Ask Dave for help. Go to the car park. Head off home. Uh, well, I mean... I mean... Let's get his backstory. Well, Come on. Let's do it. Well, yeah, let's get it. We need the backstory. My name's Big Mad Rob. Ah. Did you say Big Bad Bob? No, I'm Big Bad B Rob. Rob. <laughs> yeah. The guard stares down hard into your eyes. Big Mad Rob it is. You concur. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. So, so he's Big Mad Rob. Yes. All, All right. right. Crunchy, how's the audio? Are we too loud, too quiet? This is what happens when you run out of stock images. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, let's see. I work at the castle. Let me in. I know you do, says the guard. My brother Bob told me. He says you're the sort of lazy skiving <laughs> that they find at the bottom of the barrel for job opportunities. Gee, he thinks you're so highly yeah, of us. Well, he's dead, so. You're only here because you're expendable. If you think that means you can bother important people while they enjoy drinking, you can think again, pal. He okay, says so. that he's got us on full volume. All right. All right. So we might need to turn our audio up. Probably. That means let's go over and turn the volume off. Okay. All right. How about now? And you're just blowing everything no, out. No, but I mean, normal speak is not. Okay. Okay. So, uh, don't bother important people. Okay. Uh, so... Talk to the man again. <laughs> I mean, we can always do that. Okay, so ask Claire for help. Ask Dave for help. Go to car park. Mm, I don't know. Uh, talk know? to the man again to see what Big Mad Rob. <laughs> I is. mean, sure, we can always talk. To uh, okay, so there's no change there. Yeah. All right. Uh, so we gotta ask Dave so... or Claire to go to the car park. Let's go to the car park. You wanna go to the car park? Let's start out. All right, let's go to the car park. You walk to a small group of shops, which include a dry cleaner, a pharmacy, and a pile of rags, which seems to be have uh, dumped outside. Claire taps your shoulder and points to the hedge grow, which completely cuts off the car park from the road. This is a bit more 15 plus, by the way. Oh, okay. All right. That's that's okay, Crunchy. That's a bit that's better. That's fine. See, Crunchy like that's that. That's a bit better. Okay. All right. Okay. So, so uh, uh, Claire just pointed to the hedge grow. So I'm assuming we're supposed to go to the hedge, hedge grow. All right. So then let's go to hedge grow. 
You go to the hedgerow to see what's aroused Claire's curiosity. What on earth, she says. Why would you plant bushes full of holy and thorns, oh. holly and thorns, to cut off the shops from everywhere? The I don't earth, know. The earth's fresh. This is new. Hmm. To keep undesirables out, suggest Dave. Like, I don't know. Customers? I reckon you could squeeze through somewhere. <laughs> All right. Well, we can always try, yeah, try to, to squeeze, squeeze through. through. Do it. I mean, I don't, I don't, do I don't know that we do might it. get hurt. Okay. All right. We'll squeeze through. You accept Dave's challenge and find a spot where the growth isn't too thick, and squeeze through the six foot tall shredder with only moderate cuts. And ah, a sharp pain jolts you back onto the Ew. concrete and electric fence hidden inside. Says Dave. That's, That's clever. clever. <laughs> you get up off the floor and vow that Dave will suffer for this. <laughs> Do, no, try the hedge grow. <laughs> do, do it. Really? Do it. Do All it. right, okay. Let's what are you doing, doing, you idiot ass Dave, <laughs> who gently escorts you away from more shock treatment? I mean... Okay, so go to the shops, Okay, go to the shops. Oh, hey. Nice. You How's walk up to the shops to hear Claire gasp and raise a warning arm in front of you. The pile of rags rearranges itself and grows till you notice a woman's head looking at you in an unfocused way. Mm. She looks neither disheveled Enough to be a tramp, not has the dirty, sour smell of a drunk, but something's not right. Hmm. A change comes over you. Her mouth forms a snarl. She crouches as if ready to spring, and her eyes uh -oh, lock on you. There's more crazy ladies. Mm. All right, right away. Let's talk to her. Yeah, Why not? Let's have a talk. I with mean, her. we can have a talk yeah, with her, right? This is our first death. Yes. <laughs> Your decision turns out not to matter in the slightest as two stank what? explosions. Come close to deafening him. Big Bad Rob strides towards you, holding a revolver. Sorry about that, he chuckles. Must have been a bit of a shock. A snarl makes you realize this isn't over yet. But a third shot finishes off the woman. Gosh. These tramps are a real problem, he says, examining the body. One minute they're after loose chains, the next they're going for your throat. He laughs uproariously <laughs> and then hands you something. Looks like you can do the quiz after all. Just take this cow's invite. Mm. Shame to let you go to waste. I see. Okay. Okay. okay so we specialize uh, in crazy ladies. Yeah, apparently. Big Mad Rob seems to be experienced in this category, though. Yeah, he is. Okay. He's got lots of experience. So, uh, I mean, you can get out of here. We can go to the shops. We can phone for help, examine body, or uh, enter. Pump. Well, let's let's examine body. All right. Doesn't look like much like a homeless woman to me, says Dave. If she was just this tramp, why she got an invite to the quiz, asked Claire. She's even got a name badge. Uh, a Mercia Co. name badge. She was Gemma Flowers. Uh-oh. Big Mad Rob walks slowly towards you. He hasn't put his gun away. Why not just go inside, he advises. It can be unlucky to cause trouble and not do what you're told. You step back as the blood pools closer to your feet. Hmm. Nah, we're gonna go to the shops. <laughs> I think it's probably time we enter the pub. Nah, let's go to the shops. I gotta go to the shops. Let's go to the shops. Most of the shops appear locked up for the evening and dry cleaners pharmacy. Blah, 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 blah. Dave right. doesn't. Dave doesn't look like he's going to help you either. Making sarcastic comments about his evening plans not involving jumping over a corpse to get some laundry done. Uh huh. Yes. All right. Well, I guess we yes. can't do anything else. <laughs> so we'll enter, enter the, the pub. pub. The pub hasn't yet filled up, and there's plenty of space for Dave and Claire to gratefully crash onto a comfy sofa. So. All right. Whose round is it, asks Dave. Yours, replies Claire. Can anyone else get it, says Dave, looking towards the bar. Why, Claire follows his gaze to a young barmaid wearing a flimsy corset. Ooh. Mm. Oh, it's because she you're shy. Wow, I might have to go myself later. All right. You can ask Dave for money. Uh, Ask Dave for money, go to the bar. Hey, Crunchy, we need some money. No, just kidding. Crunchy! <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Examine the jukebox Dave for or money, leave go to the bar. Yeah, go to the game room, go to staff room, uh, the jukebox, okay. or leave I'm pump. thinking, ask Dave for money. All right, well, ask Dave for money. Oh, sweet, he gave us money. I'll go, you volunteers, besides I know her. She's called Alfred, or Elf. But I need, oh, okay, it's her. But I need some yeah. money. Dave reluctantly checks his wallet and hands you a blank note, which you examine with some disbelief. This is 50 rubles. Don't Sweet. worry, it applies. They never check these things. It just needs to feel right. Oh, oh okay. Gosh. Okay, that's great. That's fantastic. Okay, so uh, go to bar. Could you turn up the game volume a bit, please? Yes. Of course, sir. A little more. There you go. How How's about that? that? Is that good? better? Is that good now? 
It's good, crunchy. Oh, okay, Can so we went it? to the jukebox. Oh, okay. Well, we went to the jukebox, guys! The jukebox appears to be out of place in a tower that wants to shun all modern trappings. And then you notice the tracks. Whichever song you select is very unlikely to have been a UK number one in the last five centuries or so. All nice. right. So, uh... Uh, go to the bar. Go to the bar? Yeah. All right, let's Elfid. go get our drink on. Ah, there's that flimsy course. Yeah, there it is. You walk up to Elfid Mendes. Hi, Elf, you say? Hey, you, she smiles sweetly. I thought you'd be here to see me perform as a barmaid. Mm -hmm. I hope Rob yeah. didn't give you too much hassle. He's a scamp, isn't he? Probably upset Twan. that his hey, brother's Twan. dead. I do Tony style. Nice. Thank you, Twan. Thanks, Twan. T1. <laughs> T1. I like the name, by the way. It's awesome. I hope Rob didn't give you too much trouble. He's a scamp. Probably upset that his brother's dead. I can't wait to see his little face when he finds out my sister ate him. So she leans towards you. What would it be, sugar? Mm, Despite the most traditional taste, the selection of drinks errs toward the generic. A sense of homelessness is attempted with a wicker basket of condiments. Mm. All right. So we can examine the you condiments. You can click on the tracks. Ah. You can click back on the tracks. Back on the, uh, the jukebox. Ah. Okay. Well, maybe we should go back and do that. Um, we can go to staff room, we can go to games, we can examine the condiments, mm. or ask if she can help us. Yes, let's ask if she can help us. Alright. Help you, I know all the questions will be about old stuff, wizards making guys look like kings so they could get a bit naughty with the queen, guys mm. yanking swords from the stone, sorry, what were you talking Oof. about? Oh yeah, help, uh, well you need to look the part, She's getting the a commoner little distracted. suits all wrong. That gives me an idea, Elf winks as she turns away. Whatever the idea is, she's keeping it to herself. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's examine those yeah. condiments. Yes, yeah, so examine the condiments. Mm. You examine the condiments and notice that the Mer Mercia Co. have branched out into food seasonings as well. A pepper pot bears the slogan, Pick a pot of our proper pepper. Mm. <laughs> While the salt shaker announces, We take pride in our sodium chloride. You know, <laughs> either salt. item would be useful. <laughs> Okay. Oh, that's good. I okay, like so that. go back to the friends. All right, so go to friends. Uh, oh, and then gone. can you go to the jukebox? Yes, examine, examine the, jukebox the jukebox and pick the three tracks. All right, so what do you want to hear, guys? Uh, Freya's Triumph. Sure, let's go for it. Uh-huh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That is the jam. You know what that's from? Hmm? Wizards, Witches, and Swords. Oh my. Broomsticks or whatever it is. It's Wizard. from the first game. Yeah, it's from the first game. Okay. I like that, Crunchy. That's awesome. I guarantee that's from the first game. <laughs> well, Freya. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Freya was yes, in the first Freya game. Yes, Freya was in the first if game. If I remember correctly. If I remember correctly. All right. Okay, so go to the bar, or go to the game room. All right, let's go to the game room. Which I think we could have bought um, stuff like drinks at the bar because our little money was flashing. Ah, go back to the bar. <laughs> <laughs> what about this well, gentleman? Okay. That you we spot didn't... the castle caretaker, Len, by himself in the games room, listlessly rolling some pool balls across the table. None out of the pockets. All right, he greets you as he sees you, but his mood doesn't seem to perk up. Uh, All right, how's it going? Buddy old pal. Len shrugs and exhales heavily. Not well, Fred, not well. I reckon Ozzy wants to rid of me. Mm. And is just waiting till I've outlived my usefulness. Mm. Well done on escape. There's COVID, you hear that? It's <laughs> COVID. <laughs> not the COVID. <laughs> well done on escaping the castle, though. I noticed our pet dire wolves were a bit more unconscious than usual this afternoon. Certain Cretan blames me for that, too. Well, good go. Uh, uh, can you help me us with the quiz? Yes. All right, so can we'll, you help uh, us with the quiz? All right, can you help us with the quiz? Yeah, sure. The thing about the quiz is that all the questions are answers are made up, but I've <laughs> seen enough to know how it all works. Len pauses, looks away, and scratches his head, neck. Yes, you prompt. <laughs> really sorry about this, but can I ask a favor? As well as a zombie drug, Fendrick, they manufacture something they call medulga in the pharmacy. Medugal? Medubli. <laughs> in the pharmacy, I have one of their blacklists now. Oh, God. But could you get, get me some? It's just I'm under a lot of stress right now. Mm. Okay. Uh, okay. So why not go? Why not go? 
Now that Simple Land Express has become grim, Ozzy needs soldiers. Since they're only guns, he has our museum pieces that jam half the time, which means pumping people full of drugs until they're vicious, mindless killers. Mm, fun and exciting stuff. He did do. that with his own daughter, Faye. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he's just done with that with a spy they caught. So I'm a, yeah. No, Gamma. Yeah. Uh, you mean... Gemma. The girl out front. Yeah, the girl that I'm guessing the, uh, that explains the that gunshots. Rob, out. big Rob, just shot and yeah. killed. <laughs> big bad, yeah. mad Rob. Big and he'll Rob. do that with you, you guess. Mm, that's fun. Len nods, and you, if you don't play your cards right. That's Okay, fantastic. so we gotta get him drugs to give us... Yes. Uh, the, uh, the questions, yes. or the answers. Okay, so you wanna look around? Yeah, sure, look around. Look us look around. The Clayton Tower oh, game, hey, which, consists of dart, darts. which consists of pool table Sweet. and dartboard, a gap in the wall opens to the bar, but no. Oh, hey. Is Tuan would follow. Tuan would follow. Thank, Thank you, you. Tuan. <laughs> There's an emergency fire exit with a sign reading no longer operational for security reasons. With no one around to stop you, you help yourself to a few darts reasoning. Any sharp item may well be useful. We did use some darts in the first game. That we did. We did use darts in the first game. All right, uh, so let's so return, return to the lounge because I don't think we can do anything else. You with Len. return to your friends who are looking as you expectantly. You'll have to tell us all about Bunny Hill Castle, says Claire, p- patting a hand on your leg. But let's not die of thirst in the meantime, babes. Okay, okay so, so, we so she get wants us to go get a bar and get. We got to get some drinks. All right. Alan sees the trains as you approach the bar, singing to yourself and tapping on the cash register buttons as if playing a keyboard. And twitchy little noses. Mm-hmm. Oh, hello! What can I get you? Mm-hmm. There you we hand go. out the money and she looks at it in confusion. 50 pounds, she asks? That's a lot. Does the strange writing mean it's more valuable like runes? <laughs> Don't look at me like that, Daddy. Doesn't let me out of the castle often. Says mixing with the serfs isn't what a lady does. I expect you'll let me keep the change. Most of our patrons tip me ge- very generously. Mm-hmm. Spores I wonder three drinks, why. Spilling most of them into the drip tray. I was gonna say I wonder okay. why. <laughs> so we got to go back to our friends and give them their drinks. All right. Did we go to the staff room? No, but we do right. have the alcohol. Let's to give go to room. friends. Your turn. Sit to your friends who are looking at you ex- expectantly. You'll have to tell us. It. Okay, so give them the drinks. Yes. Finally, says Dave, taking his ten points of for shout. anyone who gets the song reference. Isn't this from the first game? At least the title. Maybe? I'm, I'm Not assuming. the first game of Bunny Hill Horror, but of Is that your Wizard, guess? Witches, and... W- that, that's I never, guess. I never can remember that. I whole know name. you can never. We can never remember. Wizards, the whole name witches, of it. and swords. Oh my! Yeah, <laughs> I think that's what it was. Is, is that it? Finally, it could be something else entirely not related to the song, or like not related to the games at all. I don't think Crunchy wants to answer because he wants someone else to answer. Mm. Finally, okay. says Dave, <laughs> taking his pint of stout and twitchy little noses. Ah, oh. and twitchy little noses. I don't know what that reference that is. No idea what that is, Crunchy. It, it's a. Uh, Can know, you give us a hint? It's a Europe thing. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, says Dave, taking his pint of stout. Are we all set? Is she okay? Asks Claire. Who sips her neon cocktail and suddenly nods in Elf's direction? Kind of, you say. She helped me escape the castle, but she also knew I'm her still sister was in the cell. Standing by Elton John. <laughs> I mean, (laughs) sure, why not, John? (laughs) Uh, Cell says, Dave, what kind of place did you drag us into? You decide that pointing out today that he did all the dragging would be a waste of time. It was from the Buffy opera. Breathe. A waste of breath. Okay. So, we've... Well, Well, musical episode. Uh Oh, you mean, um... Uh, <laughs> you mean, uh, okay. Okay, I think I know what you're talking about, Crunchy. Like, yeah. Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Is that what you're talking about? Because I think they did have, like, a musical episode. Like, an episode where they were stuck in, hey. like, a musical or... You find yourself alone in a messy staff room with documents, litter, and even blankets lying everywhere. Elephants has a blanket, which lifts slightly... 
to reveal the eyes of Oswald Mendez. Mm. Oh, it's you. I believe your orders were to stay in the castle. Leonard let you out, I suppose. This is the last straw for him as far as I'm concerned. You decide to keep quiet rather than explain how you actually escaped. Mm-hmm. So, this is our, uh, the castle person, owner. Yeah, look around. Well, since I'm here, what can I do? You own a pub as well as run Merce Co. Yeah. Look around. Let's look around first. I, I th- we should always and look around at our surroundings. Yes. yes, I had a housemate who played that album all the time. Ah, <laughs> okay. In stark contrast to the historic grandeur of the pub and Bunny Hill Castle, the staff room is a complete dump. Its items of mismatched furniture take up most of the space, and these in turn have been taken over by newspapers, letters, and handwritten notes. Mm, okay. All right. Okay, so... Uh, so... Well, since I'm here now, what can I do? Yes. So let's ask for Oswald Ozzie's is recovering from initial surprise and stares at you from the slit of the blanket opening for a few seconds as if li- laying down a challenge. For a start, you will not speak to me in that casual manner. We will say no more about your disobedience of late, but ha- you have a long way to prove yourself a worthy Mercian subject. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A bare arm emerges from which Ozzy reaches... It over to the bedside table, dips a pen into an inkwell, and hands you the resulting note. Mm. First of all, I require you to fetch my tire from the dry cleaners. Show this to Robert at the door, but remember, as a servant of duty, you are to go no further than the shops. I gotta say, that has to be some atrocious handwriting. I'm sure it is. Especially if he's, like, got his face covered and... (laughs) Okay. Uh, right, so I don't think we really so... need to question is you own the pub too? <laughs> I mean, sure, why not? Let's uh, let's question. Taking this compliment, also <laughs> smiles and his voice softens. Of course, in the days of yore, the tavern was the cultural center of the village, where tales of courage were regaled and her- heroes eulogized through song. Not like that wretched shout at a televised <laughs> football match and vomit fizzy lager into mm. that urinals mm. culture of today. <laughs> Marcia Cole is based around its people. And a tavern is its beating heart. Sweet. Ah, okay, awesome. leave. Sadly, I don't think we really have any of that in America. It's just, like, bars everywhere. Yeah. And they're just bars. There's, like, no uh, actual history to said bars. No. No, there, there isn't. I mean, there's maybe a couple that have, like, actual, like, that had speakeasies in them. Yeah, in the tw- Roaring Twenties. Like the the days of 20s. ours. Yeah. The days of ours. But we had speakeasies. I think, I think other than that, there's <laughs> not really anything Prohibition. To, yeah, I think it's more about prohibition here in the United States. Okay, so... Uh, then... I think we leave the pub. Why are we going to leave the pub? We haven't he even sent gone... Us, he sent us to the dry cleaners. Oh, okay, well then let's leave the pub. Sorry, you say to Big Mad Rob as you try to squeeze past him to leave. I'm just popping out. No need to be sorry, pal, he says, because you're not going anywhere. You don't let me in, and then you don't let me leave. That doesn't make sense. I've reloaded my revolver. I don't need to make sense. <laughs> Jokes aside, it's bad manners to just accept an invitation and then run off. And Mr. Mandez really hates bad manners. Just ask our friend in the car park. Ah, okay, yeah. so we can use Ozzy's note here. Yeah, that's what we do. So let's use the permission note. Rob checks the note and checks it again, all the while keeping one very suspicious eye on you. All right, then, he says, but I'll be watching closely if you're thinking about running off. Think about whether you can outrun a bullet first. All right. Well, I think the pub culture is different over here. A pub quiz is even a thing in the U.S. Thing. They do have pub quizzes. Yeah, but no, they're they have, not. They have quiz night at the bar. Yeah, they right. have like. How would we explain it? it? It's like a night where they have. I think Buffalo Wild Wings does it, but not every bar does it. More, more or less, local bars do it. Not chain bars. Yeah, but Buffalo Wild Wings does it and it's sports related. Uh, well, like they do like sports related things. You're in the questions. cold, wet car park, but feeling a sense of serenity. Little traffic is passing through the road beyond the bordering hedge, but the lights are on in a nearby house. The flickering of curtains tells you that Rob isn't the only one taking an interest in you. The only other lights belong to Clayton Tavern, the pharmacy in the first floor window above the dry cleaners. Okay, so we need to go to the dry cleaners, right? Yeah, but let's look at the pharmacy first. Oh, hello there, madam. You look very, uh... It's you. The words are hissed us. rather than spoken by your favorite receptionist, Daisy Fluffington. <laughs> she sits behind the table consisting of syringes, vividly colored vials, and a tub of lollipops. Hmm, lollipops. <laughs> I'll bet Len let you out, didn't he? Yes, he you did. You notice posters on the wall on a brand new book in a waste paper bin. A doorway is marked dispensary. 
Hey, COVID! <laughs> You're a nurse now. What are you doing? Can I have a lollipop, please? Check bin, check posters, go to dispensary. Oh, my goodness. All right, so uh, you want to actually talk to her? Sure. You're a nurse now. Yeah, you're a nurse now. No, I'm not. Just some bedpan emptying bimbo. I am the lead pharmaceutical consulting administrator. You know, honestly, that does not surprise me one bit. What, <laughs> yeah, what does that mean, <laughs> you ask? Well, the first thing it means is that you'd better watch your step if you don't return to your lowly duties at the castle immediately. I will go very hard with you. Oh, okay. I used to work here. They let me take the photo of the pharmacy. Oh, that's, oh, that's cool. Nice. That's awesome. And, you know, okay. it's always uh, a pleasure to have a conversation What are you doing? You. Can I have a lollipop, please? Can I have a lollipop? Daisy fixes you with a look of horror as if you suggested she joined you in the disabled toilet for ten minutes. <laughs> no, these are my lollipops. As if demonstrating was needed, she takes a lime green one from the tub and crunches down on it. Thanks. Just like they did in how many licks to the center of a Tootsie Pop. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, so, check the bin. Ah, uh, it's always a pleasure to talk the to The brightly her, colored you. book dumped in the bin is entitled My First Chemistry Book and is recommended for primary it. school children. There is a note attached to the front which reads, My dear friend Daisy, you are a nurse now. Very enchanting. I think you're English. I think you English with your strange, funny humor. It is the joke, no. <laughs> you are my assistant, very mirthful. I do bestow the book to you, help you. Is my joke a funny also? Mm. Most kind regards, Dr. Karova. Mm, Karova, huh? Read book. You're a nurse. Go ahead, read book. We're going to read the book? Yeah, why not? All right, let's read the book. You open a volume of <laughs> three pages in. Have a look around your classroom or playground. You'll see children are best friends and like to be together. Some do not play with uh, with each other. These are called reactions. It is the same for elements. Some elements do not mix with each other. Others form tight bonds. These bonds, ex elements, are called compounds. Here are some examples. Water, <laughs> hydrogen, two parts oxygen, Is this baking soda, sodium chloride and carbonate, and hydrogen. Mm -hmm. Hydrogen chloride. Hydrogen chloride. Mm-hmm. We're going to need those I combinations, I'm sure. I guarantee you, yes. Probably. No and crunchy over there watching you crunchy. Okay, check <laughs> posters. All right. Uh, sure, check posters. Check posters. Stay indoors. <laughs> the poster advises you to stay indoors, save lives like yours, and appears to have been designed by someone who's just discovered word art. <laughs> <laughs> Looks great. I love the it. The sentiment, <laughs> Mercia Co. Cares, is illustrated by the sinister figure of all the world's mandates. Offering a rose. A black rose, nonetheless. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very nice. We love it. Uh, so go to dispensary. All right. Go to dispensary. Well, hello there. I saw <laughs> this, actually, this photo a while ago when Crunchy was posting progress notes. Oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> you enter the dispensary to see several pharmacists at work and the back of a woman with surgical gloves who responds to your footsteps with some irration. Ir irration? Irritation. Irritation. Notes. I again read thesauruses for you, but can't give you the new reply. Nothing zilts diddly squat. We have no new teria. Production is toilsome. One vial for Mandez family is only we have. The accent sounds European, but you have no idea where exactly. By the way, that was a great European accent you just yeah. did there. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to talk to this woman that is like just... I'm sure right how to see it. You <laughs> cough and the woman turns around. <laughs> 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 oh, you're not Daisy. That brings me much vivacity. You are a new researcher, yes? You are a new researcher, yes? I am Dr. Korova. <laughs> it is pleasure to make acquaintance, you. <laughs> wow, that is, that's a really bad uh, Thank you. Thank accent. You. <laughs> I mean, that that's not even, that's Asking, not even. Ask European. about <laughs> Maduka. <laughs> <laughs> Did Leonard ask you? That very cheeky man, but I say yes. Is source of neurological fascination how correct adherence to serotonin receptors do alter cognitive perception. Yes? Mm, nice. Yes? You say yes? yes nice. Nice. <laughs> sounds delightful. Wondering can how a some? woman who <laughs> sounds like she swallowed a dictionary can have so little grasp of basic sentence structure. Take it, I am Mrs. Rudd. Would you try some also? Except be cautious, there is famous rock and roll star who ingests medulg. He now thinks he is glass of lemonade. <laughs> he converses but remarks to be like fair, Big my Trevor. accent could work 
for a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. I mean, careful, you might spill me. He knows not that lemonade cannot talk. You're so perplexing. Uh, sure, I'll try some. Sure, we'll try yeah. some. Why the heck not? Twist Briggle in the slizzes, <laughs> love dig grow and gimble in the weeb. All misery were the bagoven and mum rathers ud gulbel. Beware the jabberwock, my son, the jaws that bite, the claws that catch. Beware the jub jub bird and shun the frumerous bandersnatch. So, uh. He took his vorpal sword in hand. Long time in the manxum, foam he sought. So rested he by the tuntum tree and stood a while in thought. Oh, okay, we got options here. Oh, okay, so we need to okay, respond to the original so... sentence. The frumerous ben- beware the beware the jum jum bird and shouldn't the frumerous bender sense. Oh no! So what's the next um... line? So he rested by the tum tum tree. Just pick one. It's not going to make sense. I, I know, but I actually do know this poem. I do know this poem. Do you now? Yes, I do. Um, I like the banana. Yes, the banana is fantastic. Uh, and she lost her eye this, patch. <laughs> I don't know if it's he took his warble sword in hand, because I think that that's later. Coco, just pick something. Good options, yes. Yes, they are good yeah, they options, are good. yes. Um, it's something... No, no rush, but I mean, I think he you're going to die if you pick this wrong. I, yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> and he stood a while in thought. No, that's probably not it. So he rested by the Tum Tum Tree. No, that's not it. Because that is after he took the Vorpal Sword in hand, because that's when he slays the the thing. Hmm. So. Slays the thing, all right. I'm going to say he sought. Did ah. I do it right? <laughs> I don't know, but I like her new outfit. And as an oofish <laughs> spot he stood, the jabberwock with eyes aflame came whiffling through the telgary wood and burbled as it came. Okay, one, one, two, two, one, two, and through and through. The vorpal blade went snicker-snack. He left it dead and with its head he went glampling, glampling back. Yes. And, how, and hast thou slain the jabberwock? Yeah. Come to my arms, my blemish boy. Oh, fabulous day, kahoo, Kali hey, he courted in his joy. Man, this is... I hope you know you're playing a, uh, a game that involves stripping right now. Shh! Don't know what you're talking about! You're, this is one of those porno games where you're trying to get the lady naked. <laughs> I don't know, apparently what I'm doing is working, so... <laughs> um, let's see, Triumph Back... Left it dead with its head. Went it actually doesn't matter. The poem just extends it to the choices for disorientation. Oh, okay. Well, then, uh, we'll just do that one. Oh, well, Chris I guess. bringing in the slithy toves. Did Garen give in the way? All right. Well, go. Reality, Reality starts, starts to, to seep back. back, and you realize you're in the car park spinning and swaying. You fall to the ground, and the strange images that seemed so clear fall away, too. Oh, okay. Okay, so, go to the dry cleaners. Uh, but did we get the medicine? Oh, we yeah. did get the medicine. Okay. It actually doesn't matter. Yeah. So it you actually try to drag but it's locked. Hearing noises from above, you realize that a door next to the entrance is open and leads to a narrow flight of stairs. Okay, we'll go to the stairs. All right, so we're gonna go upstairs. You climb well, the hello cre- there, sir, you climb the creaky stairs and barely have time to take in the cramped office space when you find your hand being vigorously pummeled and a face far too close to yours. Mm-hmm. Uh, hi there, comrade in arms. Ha ah, ha, I'd bet cash to gash that you're be the new research assistant. Pleasure to meet you. My handle's Tezzy, Tezza, and any friend of Tezza's is a friend of mine. Ha. Ah. Once Fantastic. you can wrestle your hand free, you examine the office to see three desks, three other desks, one of which is as vacant and lifeless as the woman occupying the other two. I see. Now, what do you do up here? <laughs> Check empty desk. Look at Tezza's screen. Uh, what do you want to do here, Coco? I mean, we'll check the empty desk. Why not? Although the chair is empty, it appears that an unusual occupant has just popped out a coat and a handbag hang over the chair while a cup of half-drunk tea in an I love you spreadsheet mug <laughs> I love spreadsheets. competes <laughs> for space on the crowded desk. The monitor has gone great. to sleep. That's awesome. Magic house. Magic house. 
mouse. Nudge it. We're going to nudge the mouse. Go, little mouse, go! <laughs> oh no, not flowers! The screen comes to life, revealing an email message timestamp half an hour ago. Dear oh Mrs. Flowers. Oh my gosh, we killed her! Although we recently administered the medicine to add to you as a prophylactic against potential drug exposure, we have noticed discrepancies in the volume of your dose. You yeah. will report to the pharmacy immediately for another shot. Kind regards, Daisy Fluffington. Well, she's dead uh, now, care- so... Keep uh, going down. He- Careful all there, haha, says Tessa, who's appeared right behind you and puts an arm around your shoulder to steer you away. You don't know what you might find in these emails. We're a crazy lot. Could be personal. Well, the cat's away and all that, haha. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Time, mm-hmm. At the mug of, time at the mug of tea, which is going cold. What do you do up here? Look at Tessa's screen. All right, let's ask him what he does up here. Bean Why counting, not? mon capitan. I know we have Big to give beans, him Big beans, kidney beans, limes, all there. Ah, sorry, I don't half spout some danglers, do I? <laughs> That's what happened when you're almost off a 12-hour shift and a pub quiz is coming up. Mm-hmm. You better be there to see our triumphant victory. I'll be the one up front shouting out the answers and embarrassing my teammates. Isn't that Fantastic. right, ladies? Uh-huh. The dull murmur and the response doesn't dampen Tez's spirits. But you realize that further questioning is unlikely to be helpful unless you want to know more about beans. Look at Tessa's screen. I mean, sure, we'll learn more about beans. background <laughs> features cartoon sheep wearing a, motor, a mortar board and declaring, your best teacher is your last mistake. Oh, gosh. <laughs> a window is open, which contains the text, <laughs> Tessa quickly mi- uh-huh. minimizes this to reveal a movie of two extremely friendly Bond ladies. Which he also hastily removes. Mm-hmm. Despite your intrigue, you feel that remembering the cryptic message will be a huge waste of time. He's, uh, it sounds like he's mixing a little work with pleasure, if you know what I mean. <laughs> hey, who knows, who knows. Uh, so, leave office. Alright, so, we asked him what he Great. did. Great, show right? Ozzy's note. Ozzy's uh, note is we flashes. Show. Yeah, well, yeah, we had to show him the note. Yeah, but it was supposed to be in the dry cleaners. Oh. Blimey O'Reilly, the big Wilsdale himself sent you. Oh, your research assistants must be run ragged. No wonder the last three vanished in a puff of smoke. Speaking of, I'm sure I can magic up the downstairs key for you. He presto evola, <laughs> voilà. taking the, the drug, uh, taking the key from Tess's outstretched hand. You consider the cocaine really is a terrible drug. <laughs> We should do? definitely have added sheep sound effects. Opportunity Meh. missed there. <laughs> <Yes. Meh. laughs> Ah, uh, so leave office. All right, so we leave office. And now we go office. back to the pharmacy. Do we go back to the pharmacy? Yes, we have the key now. Oh, that's true. No, not the pharmacy. I'm sorry, the dry cleaners. Go down. All right, all right. Leave pharmacy. Always a pleasure, Daisy. Daisy Flowers. Go to dry cleaners. Fluffington. You try the dry cleaners. Okay, use the key. Yes, the key. You want to lock the door? Enter dry cleaners? Yes. We're going to enter the dry cleaners. You're in a dark dry cleaners. Very dark. And have to reassure yourself that a hundred of arm and legs that surround you are only lifeless fabric. Uh-huh. Turn on light. Mmm. Mm, delightful. Okay. Ah. With an electric hum, the lights flicker on, then off, then on again, and the shop puts you in a mind of jumble sale with a few washing machines oh, got stacked on top of each other. Luckily, Oswald Mandy's outfit is waiting on the cor- on the counter, and you take the black velvet overcoat, red dandy shirt, and top hat, which represent a good chunk of his carefully crafted reputation. There's still one more thing you can do. All right. In the so dispensary? In the dispensary, so let's go leave. Back to, so we got to go back to the pharmacy. All right. Go to pharmacy. And the, the dispensary. Go to the dispensary. Uh, go to safe. Oh, there is a safe. There's or also examine a scrap, scrap paper. paper. Examine the scrap paper. You pick up paper and unravel it. Do- Dear Dr. Trevor, you have only been on this team for a month, and it regrets me to inform you that I am already concerned about your disrespect- disrespectful jokes and unprofessional attitude. Aw, oh, come on. Jokes are always great. Rest assured, as your superior, I have escalated this matter to Sir Mendez, who sets great stock, in my opinion. Sorry, I'll stop giving quizzes. <laughs> Actually, you can give quiz if you, you want. You are not as essential in this operation as you appear to think you are, so please comport yourself in a more appropriate manner in the future. Kind regards, Fluffington. Fluffington. Uh, ask about Mc. Uh, so we already asked exam about that. poster in here. So let's examine the po- 
Wow, that is a poster. Sleep drink. Uh, oh, so it contains the ingredients. Causes catatonia. Yes. So that's... So these are different drugs. Uh -huh. Yes. Oh, this is a prophylactic and oh, antidote. Oh, wow. Okay, so go so, down. Poster. Uh, sleep drink. So we got a sleep drink. Um, we got a warrior drink. A hallucinogenic. And a prophylactic and antidote. Nice. I'm assuming we're probably going to be needing these at some point. Probably. Yeah. Most likely. So go to safe. All right, let's go to the safe. The safe is locked and requires a four-digit combination to open. No, you correct yourself a four-letter combination. Mm. Neither Dr. Korva nor the other pharmacists seem to care what that you're examining the safe, but that doesn't help you with the code. Curiously, a satch of salt is taped to the top. Oh. Sodium, Sodium chloride. chloride. Which is what? Go So go back. Uh, go back to... Leave the, the dispensary. Yeah, so leave. Go back and I'll read the book. Check the bin. Uh, read book. Four digits. Hydrogen. No, this isn't... None of these are four digits. No, where was the sodium chloride thing? No, that was sodium in the condiments. chloride is like That was at the condiments in uh SO No, it's NA. NA, NA is sodium. NA CO. Yeah. Yeah, NA NAC hydrogen chloride. So there's hydrogen and we know what sodium is. Sodium's NA. So, so NaCl. So N A C one. C L. It's, that's a one. It's an L. Oh, okay, it is an L. Looks like a one to me. It must just be the font. Okay. <laughs> N A C. So go back to the dispensary. Okay. So the dispensary. Go to safe. All right. So N. A. A. Oh wait. Yeah. A. N A. C two. C L, which is. L. Yeah. All right. I, I don't right? think that right because it didn't ring. Star. No. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so we'll come back to this. All right, we'll go back. All right. Sodium chloride. No, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait. Yes. Okay, so there. N. N. A. C. L. L. Green light! <laughs> Yeah, I you did You go to the code, do Look the consideration, and enter the chemical formula for salt. The safe opens, and you help yourself to a small vial of Tierra, the antidote drug. This could certainly come in handy. Yes! Sweet. Yes! We All got right. the... We okay. know! So now we can leave. Level! <laughs> <laughs> it's the old All texting right. method. You have to put in the buttons. Yeah, yeah. It's the texting method. Leave pharmacy. Okay. okay, so now we need to go back to the bar. The bar. Yes, we need to go to the pub. You return to sit down with your friends after numerous pub quizzes. You are very familiar with the sight of Dave droning on while Claire eavesdrops on other people's conversations. Crunch is like, woohoo! Occasionally yes. turning back to nod or say, that's interesting. They seem happy enough, you consider. Yes, all okay. right. So... So we need to go to the staff room to give him his clothes. No, we need to go to the games room and give the guy the drugs. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. So uh, we'll just give him uh, the drugs now. Thanks, you're a star, he says as he grabs the pills and is about to swallow one. But he manages to compose himself, taking several deep breaths. Okay, the quiz. First of all, everything Ozzy says is utter tripe. The point is to get his mi minions to accept his words as the truth. All right. It's how cults work. And he gives marks to whoever is in his good book. All right. There are three other teams, pharmacy, finance, and security here. I'll write this down for you. He looks around and finds some paper to write on. Pharmacy are in favor this week because they're finalized the zombie drug and antidotes, so they'll get the right answers. Okay. The only way they'll be wrong is if finance and security agree on something different. Got that? Peeking at their answer sheet should be easy enough. Suppose I'd best go help Ozzy, old Ozzy, out now. Yeah. So it seems like okay. Okay. So return to lounge. Return to lounge. 
Okay, okay so great. we need to get finance, we know. Yeah. And so we need to get uh, security, Mad Rob. Yes. Yeah, but we need to go to the staff room to give Ozzy his clothes first. But I'm worried if we give him his clothes, he's just going to come out and start the game. Maybe. But what else can we do? Uh, go talk, go hit leave pub. Alright. <clears throat> hmm. Go back to pub. I was hoping we'd run into the guy, so he must be somewhere else now. Yeah. Mad Rob. Yeah. Go to the jute box. Pick a different song. <laughs> we'll go with uh, the first one. Oh, I love that. The classic juice box sound. Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. So, let's go to the bar. Alright. Elf seems to be a trance new approach, here. so nothing changed here. No. Um. I mean, that's about it. Besides going to the staff room. Yeah, go to the staff room. So we gotta get him his clothes. Yeah. Enter the staff room to be rewarded with a stern look of Oswald, who's pulled the bed sheets further up. Well, he demands, I sincerely hope you've been out carrying your simple instructions. Yes, here are your clothes. So, here's the clothes. Oh, look at him, he's so dapper. A good <laughs> Ozzy's expression softens, so all that's left is for Len to set up the equipment. If he's done so, we can begin. Oh, regrettably, there is one more problem. A member of the staff has made a complaint about your appearance. She, sorry, he, or she, feels that your charity shop suit is not in all fitting right. with the tone of Clayton Tavern, and I concur. A uniform has been arranged for you. Collect this and report back to me. Just to save you time, nothing's changed. Oh, okay. All right, yeah. Crunchy. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay, so... Have another look yeah, around. Yeah, have another look around. Why not? You notice that Ozzy's had a chance to tidy up since your last visit, although the newspapers are in empty bottles, are still scattered about the paperwork is now out in view, as if it kept it from unwelcome prying eyes such as yours. Mm-hmm. Really? I wonder what the paperwork says. Yes. All right. Okay, so we're supposed to go get a, uh, an outfit or something. Yes, which, where are we going to go for that? I'm going to guess it's in the dry cleaners. All right. Oh my goodness, she actually scared me! <laughs> <laughs> well, hello there. You re-enter the dry cleaners and oh almost jump goodness. at the sight of Elf. Perched up on a chair in red PVC boots Man, and moving her hips as if it in time to some internal rhythm. She smiles as she sees you. Thought Daddy would send you my way. The uniform was my idea. Yeah, oh I know. Oh gosh. What are you doing here? So, in this the dry is what cleaners? she was talking about before uh, at the bar. Okay, all right. This is my refuge away from now the past on all Daddy's sense. silly rules and nonsense about the past. Here I can be whoever I want to be. It's not often I have a playmate, though. Who's uh -huh. supposed to be wearing? <laughs> Crunchy's laughing. <laughs> He's like, ha, 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 ha. I often wonder all those serfs out there with lives that I know nothing about. Maybe these belong to a singer or actress like Doris Day. And I'm performing to a thousand of adoring fans across the world. Or, Doris you Day, know, I could, uh... Is that weird? I'd love to watch Marilyn Monroe films or listen to jazz, but Daddy thinks those are too decent. Decadent. Maybe a little decadence... Can be exhilarating at times. Mm -hmm. Okay, so she I really need a likes to uh, enjoy herself, doesn't she? <laughs> a uniform, of course you do. You can't be a gallant warlord in that tatty suit, can you? Elf bends over behind the counter, giving you even more of an eyeful before emerging with some <laughs> folded-up green material. You hold out your arms, but she hesitates and then grins. First of all, she says, "You'll have to get out of your clothes." Can we just hit her with a dart and trank her? Like I mean, sure, guy. give her the remove the I suit. Mean, remove suit. Oh, man. Remove suit. Obey suits. Elf, you self-consciously start to remove your suit, feeling her predatory gaze over your exposed body. Yep. You drop your clothes out of the ground and stand in your underwear, feeling a drop from the doorway against your goose-pimpled skin. Elf seems in no hurry to pass you the item, simply letting her gaze take you in. Yes, you'll be Man. my loyal soldier, she says, jumping Man. off the chair and approaching you. Stay still, arms by your side. Oh, man. Uh, stay still. 
<laughs> she really needs to get out. She gets close I mean, enough for you to feel her breath on your neck and places her hands on your chest. Her smooth lips glide against... This is where we're going to be like, oh, this is a kid's game. <laughs> her lips glide against yours in part to open your mouth into which she slides her tongue. Mm-hmm. As she kisses you, she feels the tips of her fingernails slowly drawing down your chest and then your stomach. Okay, lady. She laughs as she pulls away. Yes, you'll do all right. I like it when my soldiers are this eager to serve me. Of course, they oh, always man. are. Now close your eyes. I wonder why. Maybe it's because she's crazy. There should be an option to attack everyone with darts. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There should be. Uh, very fetching, Elf Lass. I'm sure I'll see you later, she says with a wink as she walks out through the back entrance. Uh-huh, yes, mm-hmm, yep. Uh, uh, I'm leave. just gonna leave. Okay, leave. I'm just gonna get out of here. We're, we're just gonna act like that never happened, and we're just gonna scoot. We're getting the happy All ending. Right. Oh, we're getting the happy ending. <laughs> 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 okay, go to the okay. pub. Okay, all right. Go to pub. <laughs> You're trying hey, to be greeted by a snort of laughter, Big Mad Rob. The room is filled up as it's harder to hear your friends of the noise. This is probably for the best. This is a bit of an ongoing theme. Yes, yes. What are you wearing as, Dave? Oh, you look like a pixie, says Claire. Well, try this trick and help us win the quiz, says Dave. We've got an answer sheet, and we're just waiting for that mad old bloke. Are you ready in a sec, you say, trying to drown out the mockery? Ozzy wants to see me. Mm-hmm. Go to the staff so room. I'm going to go to the staff room. Agile hey, Oswald's voice is noticeably deeper and silkier, like mm-hmm. an actor who needs a costume to perform a role. <laughs> he puts a hand on your shoulder. The warrior tunic is very suitable, because I have great plans for you and your friends. You are a, to fight for Marcia, for tradition and for the good of the people and the kingdom. Mm-hmm. Yes, great. Uh, I can't great. wait. I can't wait. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> great. That's exactly the attitude I was having when he smiles, as if you're... Where the son he never had or the daughter he had locked in the dungeon. <laughs> Tonight you may drink and make merry. Tomorrow you will be administered Fenderic, the drink of Saxon warriors, resurrected in Mercia Labs, and you will be eternal heroes of, or martyrs. If you win the quiz, of course, you will need to retain you in the castle as scholars, but I think your level of wisdom is more suited to the battlefield. So He's calling uh, us stupid and soldiers. <laughs> So, he basically just told us he's going to turn us into one of those zombies. Unless we win the quiz. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so leave. Fantastic. All right. Uh, Are we good to go, asked Dave. Looks like Claire's pointing to the opening staff room door. Wow, is that your boss? He looks impressive in an unhinged sort of way. (laughs) Mm, What do we we win anyway, asked Dave. Or you hesitate, I'll tell you later. (laughs) All right, sit down. I guess it is time. You don't see Oswald at first, but the hush from the front stage quickly sweeps across the lounge like a pacifying wave until you hear the man's footstep throw the mic and watch him (laughs) pause to take in the room. Ladies and gentlemen, the voice is almost seductive. Ladies and gentlemen, the Mm. voice is almost seductive. (laughs) It is an honor to be in your fine company this evening. We enjoy the quizzes. Because we like to solve problems, yes? Yes, yes. Right as a risotto. Risotto, mm. <laughs> actually. Right as really a risotto, <laughs> shouts out Tessa. It seems to irk Ozzy. But he proceeds. But there are some problems that even worldly knowledge cannot solve. This once proud land has been corrupted. Greedy politicians selling out to modern ideas. You making zombie people in your basement. And his you voice know? is getting louder. <laughs> Satellites spewing endless Yankee crap in our homes. Spawns from Umbagu. Land diluting our culture. Dragging up zombies. Shaming our city centers and giving lie to the promise of modern world. When you feel it can't get any louder. He pauses and looks around his eyes. As the echo of his speech fades. So... Yes, God. <laughs> what do we do? <laughs> yeah, what do we do? <laughs> you like my speech, God? <laughs> yeah, that was good. I like Ozzy it. looks directly at you. Well, he says, I will enlighten you. On this very land, there once stood a proud and noble country, a country where the ideas of chivalry, nobility, and reason triumphed, a country called Mercia. Uh-huh. Ladies and gentlemen, by tomorrow, to Mercia will be resurrected, and I stand humbly before you as your new king. Uh-huh. Our subjects have developed a shield to those drugs the modern world depend on. Mm-hmm. I say, if they love decadence so much, then let's overwhelm them with drugs and rub their faces into their own sickness. Mm-hmm. When the modern world comes begging for an antidote, I will lay down my demands, and they will find out it is an antidote to the modern world itself. 
Now, let's uh, begin the quiz. If we need voice actors, you'll be my first. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. All right. So, uh, we have the antidote, by the we way. We do have the antidote. We do have and the, the antidote. And the dart. And the dart, yes. And our tips. <laughs> yes. And lens tips. <laughs> Uh, hey, as hey, Ozzy hey. leaves the stage and the pub chatter renews, Claire has nothing to add. <laughs> Dane looked like he's about to add something. I mean, really? <laughs> <laughs> he elaborates. <laughs> I don't know if this is a good time to mention it, he says, but if we don't win, he's going to drug us up and make us zombie like the woman Rob shot. Your friends just nod despondently as if they're expecting nothing better. <laughs> There's a drink-stained answer sheet in front of you, and three other teams are set around. All right. Uh, so, so, read the answer sheet. Uh, yes. Upon which best did Issel ride to find Mercia in 1551? A big fat cow. Nice. Okay. Which land's army did the hero and the Sabbath defeat despite having no arms? Narnia! <laughs> which god goddess did Credio take Claire strength Bear from the other Almighty. after defeating the Northrum after Claire Bear the Almighty? <laughs> Hand your quiz sheets over to King Oswald. Okay. Okay. Uh, so I'm guess who co- chose the team name and our answers? The Clayton Tavern Quizzed quiz. in my pants. Oh, nice. that's good. I li- that's funny. Claire laughs, spitting out some of her drink. Her third drink you deduce from the emptiness. <laughs> These are impossible, says Dave. Okay. I wanted to use my phone, says Claire, but some cow in a suit confiscated it. Do you have any ideas? All right. Okay, so now so, so go down. So finance is in favor. Now pharmacy. Pharmacy is, in favor. is the one. We that's need to in get favor. finance and security to match. Yes. So go to the pharmacy first because they're in favor. Claire, not willing for you to run off again. Your friends grab your shoulders. Hold your horses, says Claire. We still need plans, says Dave. You don't go walk about just yet. All right, so it. now we can show yeah. Lens Tips. Yeah, give t- Lens Tips. <laughs> so all the answers are just made up, asked Dave. This is outrageous. People can't just write anything. People <laughs> just write anything all the time. <laughs> I mean, that's very true. Especially if they think they're a king. I know what to do. It's easy. We'll just go around to the tables, get their answers, and pick the right ones. Uh-huh. All right, so. Okay, so go to the finance table. Or, gonna... No, go to the pharmacy table first. Because the they... pharmacy table is going to be the one with the right answers. Yeah. The pharmacy table consists of Dr. Culver, Daisy, and a couple of unfamiliar faces. Nobody looks very happy, but Dr. Culver perks up as she sees you. Hello, my good friend, she says. The new research assistant. Come to join us? Yes. Daisy is less pleased to see you and bites into her lollipop. Okay. Okay, so uh, ask for help. It's sadness you don't join us, but I help you because we are friends. Perhaps I am Miss Naughty, but we share answers. <laughs> 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 Uh, Dr. Clover hisses, Daisy, I strictly forbid you to shut up, Daisy, says Dr. Clover, as you look at each other's answer sheets. Who is this god, Claire Bear, the Almighty, I know not. You note down Team Pharmacy's answers while trying to avoid the laser glare of Daisy. Okay. Okay, so go to our quiz, see what it says now. Oh. Okay. Okay. So check all of their answers. I'm pretty sure you have to. For these? Yeah. So, you hand your quiz sheet in to King Oswald Mendez. Yeah, but shouldn't we go to the other tables? Because then they say that Well, we're going to do that. we got to go to theirs now. And if we can get the two others to to agree that the one answer is correct... Then they'll win. Yes, the other two will be correct. But we yeah. need to have both the one that agrees with the pharmacy and the ones that the others have right. Wait, what? <laughs> we have to get the pharmacy to get answers right, and we have to get the other guys to get answers right, so our sheet has all the answers right. Okay. Sure. Whatever you, you say. got me? Sense. Okay, sure. so visit uh, the other tables. All right, so let's go to the security cable. The security team by the door consists of Big Mad Rob and all his friends. Mm. In other words, Big Mad Rob, tankard in hand, he sways on his stool and leers as you approach him. Oh, look, he says, it's Team Fairy. 
you wearing anything under that skirt? If you're after my answers, you could forget it. Just look forward to being mindless zombies. Not that anyone can tell the difference. He laughs at his excellence, wit, and takes another drink. drink. All right, so... Ask Dave, or ask Claire for help. Ask Claire for help? Yes. All right, well, ask Claire for help. Claire goes to Dave and whispers in his ear, looking at you a couple of times, and Dave nods. You're getting very suspicious. She walks <laughs> back to you. Smiles at Rob and then suddenly lifts the hem of your tunic above your waist. Rob looks down at your open mouth and wide eyed. Before you can react, you see Dave making an okay thumb and forefinger gesture from behind Rob's shoulder. You now have team security's answers. Claire, you say as you walk back to your table, you need to have a serious talk about boundaries. See? I knew I knew Claire was the one to talk to. Go, look at our quiz now. Okay. A dire wolf. East Angela and Woden. Okay. All right. So now we go to the finance table. Coder Mike spent ages on these interactive foreground bits. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, you find the finance team in a racist conversation, while you find Tezza in racist conversation. The other team members look like they'd be happier in a war zone. All right. Can, right, can we, we share? Can answers? we share answers? Okay, so... Can we share answers? I'd be happy as a hippie if we could, says Tez, but the king won't like it. Uh Uh-huh, uh-huh. And my team are counting on me. He waves his arm to take in one woman looking at her watch and another tearing a cigarette paper into smaller and smaller pieces. And they're tough questions this week. Funny thing, I've lived in Clayton my whole life and I've never knew there was once a battle on Bunny Hill. He winks, and you wonder if there's something more shrewd about Tezza than meets the eye. All right. So, now what? I don't know. Go down. Do we have any more options? I mean, we can go to the staff room. We can go to the Keep game room. We can go to the jukebox. Or we can go outside. So, we need to get a look at his clues. Hmm. Go up. Is there anything in his talk that gave us any help? Uh, looking at her watch, another doing cigarette paper, smaller, smaller. They're tough questions. I have lived in Clayton my whole life, and I never knew there was once a battle on Bunny Hill. He winks. He never, he never knew there was once a battle on Bunny Hill. He winks, and you wonder if there's something more shrewd about... Open the quiz sheet. Hmm. I thought maybe that would give us another. No. Okay, so we need to look around a little or something. Because we got to get his clues still. Well, we can ask Dave or Claire Ooh. for help. Ask Claire. <laughs> You're just really going all in on Claire. Claire Barry decides the best approach is to try Tez's teammates. Mind if I join you, ladies, she says, and receives a murmur in reply. You know what's fun? Helping each other out. <laughs> well, <laughs> this is going nowhere. Mm-hmm. Let me buy you a couple drinks and we'll team up. What do you want? Cyanide, says one, receiving a snort from the other. Even Claire Bear gets the hint and backs away. So ask Dave for help. Yeah, I was going to say, I think Dave's probably the better option. You stand beside Claire Bear both in a state of curiosity as Dave whispers something in the man's ear. The man theoretically shrugs and theatrically shrugs and strokes his chin whilst looking Mm. coy. There's a quick exchange of something shiny and Dave turns back to you. Okay, he says, we've got their answers. I'm re-estimating your... Expected completion time of two hours, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> We're taking a very long time, apparently. Well, according, to what, Gr- according to Crunchy. Another 45 minutes, according to Crunchy. <laughs> now, Crunchy well, I we mean, got, you are like, taking time. He did say 90 minutes was our, 90 <laughs> minutes to two hours when we talked. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> uh, there's a quick exchange. So the Shiny and Dave turned back to, okay, he says we've got their answers. Dave asked Claire, did you bribe him? Did we bribe him? Did you bribe him? I thought you had no money. Well, you know all that cash lying around after the barmaid left, he says. I don't want to know. All right. Okay, so So go to the quiz. Wyvern. Pharmacy has both wyvern. Okay, so we just need to pick the ones where both answers are the same. This one. This one. But then all of or them are the, different. All of them are here. different on the bottom. So we got to convince Now them. you're just reading it out and being thorough. Yes. 
So okay, we, so we have to convince somebody to change their answer. Two teams to change their Which answers. Which got down us here. to take strength after defeating the Norbadian army at Bunny Hill. Yes. Right? Yeah. Coco, quit going down to our task. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. All okay. right. So, I think if we go... The pharmacy's oh. probably going to be the most into just changing their answer. Yeah. All right. Well, actually, the pharmacy's going to give the, have the right answer anyway. So yeah. we just pick the pharmacy's answer as our answer for that. That's right. Okay, so we have that. So then... The pharmacy's answer is that. So we'll get everyone right, and pharmacy will get this one wrong. Okay. Is that how that's going to work? I think so. All right, we'll find out. Um, let's see. Sit back down? Yeah. You return to the pub. So look at your answers. Okay, so we got to go to Oswald Mendez now, and that should be it. So go to the staff room? Yeah, I think so. I normally announce results on stage, says Ozzy, going through the papers, but... Crunchy says, whispers, you might be overthinking this. Probably. Oh, we probably are. <laughs> I normally announce results on stage, says Ozzy, going through papers, but time doesn't permit on occasion. We don't want certain people getting upset and spoiling the atmosphere, do we? A cool laugh in your ear makes you realize Daisy is standing right behind you. The door slams shut. So I'm confident. So if you're confident with your answer, you may hand over your sheet. If not, I will permit you a few more minutes. Submit answers. You really want to submit answers? Crunchy, Crunchy's got me second guessing our, our throw answers it out there. now. All right, we'll submit answers. <laughs> you feel Daisy grab your arm as Ozzy reads out your answers. He looks up at you with a raised eyebrow. My congratulations. It appears the team quizzed in my his eyes. That your team has triumphed this week. Woo! By cheating, Daisy Grip <laughs> tightens as you feel spittle against the back of your neck. You've always had a very direct approach, Miss Fluffington, says Ozzy. It is one of your strengths, and many pe problems can be solved with a hammer. Other problems, however, require a corkscrew. Yes, I know they were cheating, but we have a lack of creative thinkers in our <laughs> ranks. He turns to you. You may now come with us. It doesn't sound like a request. Okay. <clears throat> All right, we'll follow good old Ozzy. You're late in the night through a fire door and the noisy of the luxury chorus door opens, only emphasizing the silence. A caped flunky tips his hat to Ozzy and ignores you completely as you clamber in the back seat beside Daisy. Miss Fluffington will be happy to fill you in with any questions you have, says Ozzy, as the engine starts. Yes, very happy, sir. Okay. Uh, so, um, where, where are, are we going? going? Another medal, if you were playing on new grounds, anyway. Oh. Uh, Oh, okay. We are returning to Bunny Hill Castle, but not for rest. Certain arrangements need to be made before sunrise, which, of course, will be the perfect time to pounce. Uh, where are my friends? Yes, where are my friends? <laughs> Your friends are being escorted to the castle by Robert. He will ensure that they are kept comfortable in Ostia's room. Under lock and key, of course. I understand you went snooping in there against orders. Ostia went snooping, too, and she learned the error of her ways. You turn your own daughter into a zombie, you blurt out. Oswald shuts his eyes and, for once, struggles to get the words out. Daisy assists. I feel like they're uh, taking us to go turn us into a zombie. Yeah, we have the antidote. That'll be a cakewalk compared to what you will do to your friends if you cross us. How much is one life worth when looked at over centuries or millennia? Oswald's oh, voice seems more brittle. Would you go back to stop Stonehenge to save a few laborers from getting tired? A century from now, we will all return to the Earth. Our deeds and achievements will live on. All right. Ask uh, about drugs. Sure. You said we are going to overwhelm the modern world with drugs, you say. What did you mean? Do you know what wi a wyvern is, asked Ozzy? <laughs> it is a magnificent beast of yore like a dragon and a traditional Mercian emblem. Sometimes the past cannot be expected exactly replicated. But in spirit, we have a legion of wyverns ready to fly across the land into battle. Apparently, this is what Ozzy considers to be an adequate answer. Uh -huh. But you're not getting any more out of them. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, leave so... Car. Leave car? Leave car. All right, leave car. You wait until the car slows to make a turn <laughs> to take your opportunity, grabbing the door handle, and <laughs> nothing happens. Child's locks on, says Daisy. Darn it! <laughs> 
We don't First want any you accidents. Child At least locker. any unnecessary ones. Nice. Okay, so we All have to right, enjoy so the journey. Enjoy the journey. <laughs> Bunny Hill is newly resident castle emerges as you turn a corner and climb a road. Wish I'd known about this road before, he says. Would have saved my shoes from falling apart. Uh -huh. Oswald and Daisy look at you, but neither are keen to share their amusement. Stop, says Ozzy. Get out. You follow this gaze to see the dire wolves. Paragogi! How's it going, Paragogi? Pang and Cerberus lie in a pool of blood which glistens black in the dark and streams from what used to be their throats. The Fine. car door opens, and with a surprising pace, Ozzy, Daisy, and Slunky all sprint towards the castle, which is only yards away. Cool. All right, so uh, can we run away? No, go to castle. All right, we'll go to the Our castle. Our friends will die. Following others, you run headfirst into the castle doors and <laughs> hey, slam look, shut she's back. <laughs> on you. The sound of a click and a slamming of bolts make it clear that you're not that you're very much on your way now, or maybe not. As a snarling figure of Ostensia comes into view, "Hello, Faye," you say desperately. Or friends, you help me. Trying to focus your dazed head, you spot a side entrance you judge to be reachable, but you'd better make a decision quickly. Yes, this is Crunchy's new game, Paragon. Okay, so we could we could use the dart and the, the medicine to heal Ascentia. Yes. But what are our other options? Fight, fly, run, door. Okay, so we, we give her the antidote. You throw Trancy a lace dart at Faye, which sticks in her arm. There's no change in her, and she doesn't even seem to have noticed. You're aware that drugs take some time to kick in, but the time you don't really have. Uh, uh, so run to door? Run to door, I guess. All right. Your eyes glance to door. the door, so do Faye as you run at full pelt towards it. So does Faye. You grab the handle, turn, and barge into the door without knowingly whether it's locked or not. This time your luck holds, and you're able to enter the room. Ram the door shut and slide the bolt into place. A tremendous bang leaves the door warped, and you brace Look yourself for Faye's second attempt at getting through, but there's no more. Bless you. Oh, bless you. Bless you. Okay. <laughs> Blue Valkyrie, and oh, are goodness. you are you okay? Blue Valkyrie, ask a tiny voice. You slump down a wall, try to relax <laughs> your breathing, and only just notice you're in an old-fashioned kitchen, and thankfully alone. You are not Blue Valkyrie, states the voice. Sir, madam, please respond. I can't believe you haven't died yet. You might have sussed us out. <laughs> <laughs> we are very sussing you yes, out. We've yes, played we two are. of your games so yes, far. Yes, we have. <laughs> All, All right. right. Uh, okay. I'm gonna have to sir is fine. Madam would be more appropriate. Oh. This thing is, like, squeezing my brain. Oh, your headband? <laughs> yeah, I gotta take it out. Because it's, like, putting pressure on this ear, and it's making my ear hurt. That's okay. So, uh, Sir is fine. Madam, more Ooh. appropriate. Okay. Uh, sir? Yeah, sir. Sir is fine. Very well, sir, <laughs> says the voice. Whose location you are trying without success to establish? Are you friendly? I don't know. Who are you? <laughs> uh, yes? <laughs> Uh, what kind of friendly we talking to? Yeah, I mean, that's why I'm saying I don't know. Who are you? Just say yes. <laughs> All right, okay. Well, to be you friendly, hear the sigh. Right. You know, it doesn't even matter if you're friendly. We need to stop Mandez, and we can only do this if you can locate Blue Valkyrie. The spy, you ask. They killed her. Uh -huh. Really understand they killed an unfortunate woman called Gemma Flowers. Gemma. <laughs> Gemma Flowers. The voice, have you noticed the walkie-talkie yet? Mm. No, I can't find it. The voice pauses then sighs. It's in the bread bin. Be aware, it is only set up to receive transmissions. You cool. rummage around the kitchen and take the device. Awesome. So who's Blue Valkyrie, you ask, but you are now talking to yourself. All right. Examine the kitchen. So let's examine the kitchen. Like the rest of the castle, the kitchen is newly built, but designed to look old-fashioned right down to the hanging uh, wildfowl. Herbs and vegetables, which make the, you wonder if you've got an hour to spare to prepare a meal. Mm. Probably not, you think, mm -hmm. and simply help yourself to a few snacks. Thinking danger may be ahead, you check the drawer for knives, but the cutlery and utensils are all bare. The only other curiosity is a small panel in the wall kind of with kitchen? a simple lock. It doesn't open. What kind of kitchen doesn't have a knife? <laughs> okay, so go down corridor or go outside to Faya. 
Uh, Who I may think, or may not be healed at this point. I think we'll go out the corridor. Astentia. You yeah. know. Okay, corridor it is. Don't want to get eaten. You're in an air corridor with a spiral staircase that leads downwards. A metal grill with a sign, no access, temporary security measure prevents you climbing up. At least Ooh. most of the other rooms look open. All right. Wasn't that the same thing as had that secret door in the pub? I think so. Yes. I think maybe. Are you talking about, like, the first part one? No. I'm talking about the, the game room area that Len was in, in the pub, just oh, earlier. okay. Where there was a door that said, or an elevator or whatever that said, temporary security measure, out of order. Oh, okay. Um, okay, go to kitchen, go to parlor, go to antechamber. So... Go downstairs. Go downstairs. We just want to go down... Uh, okay, the subterranean it's... laboratory is likely as welcome as you remember it. Maybe even less so now. As someone's removed the computer and the only feature seems to be the locked glass cabinet, at least there's no moaning from the cells this time, you think, but a quiet bang from that direction puts you on alert. You almost Lovely. jump from a sensation against your thigh and then realize it's the walkie-talkie vibrating. All right, so let's just listen to the walkie-talkie. You'll recognize a lot of these backgrounds. I'm sure yeah, you will. Yeah, I was going to say, I remember this from part one. Where are you? The voice in your ear is low and menacing. You quickly place it as Rob's. Um, I'm just going to stay Wait. silent. Yeah. Why would you answer Rob? Yeah. We're not answering Rob. We're going to stay silent. I said, where are you? You keep your mouth shut. Fine. It doesn't matter. I'm going to hunt you down and sort you out, pal. <laughs> you can count on it. I know you murdered my brother. You hit his revolver and then he was killed by that zombie. What? Well, we did that the last episode. Oh, yeah. That's, that's not true. what happened, you begin. Actually... I think he was in love with the woman. The woman killed him. Was it? I forget. Oh, okay. That's not what happened. You began, shut up. I talked to Elf. She told me all about it. You're living on borrowed time. The transmission died. You wait for your breathing to calm down before making your next move. So Elf's been telling Porky's about you. Apparently. All right, let's check the cabinet. Why not? Check the glass cabinet behind which lies strange vials and unpleasant looking metallic objects which you hope have a medicinal purpose. A grill prevents you Can smashing... You medical? Yeah. <laughs> smashing straight through, but there are four digit lock with a message underneath. Right. Examine the message. Read message. Hmm. Mm. All right. Hello, my good pharmaceutical friends. I changed the code to simplicity... Easy for us, but not for Mr. Layman. If he is erroneous, cabinet thinks intruder and locks sharp. Alright. So this is just a code for um, something. Right? So if one cognitates that fennec and medulla cause catatonic, but some of it cause aggression, then put 3311, but you would be silly, doctor. If you take this note to say that you could probably have guessed what? The author. What? So. So if they say medigula causes cantala, medigula two, well, whatever. <laughs> medigula. So this is the set. So these are the numbers one, two, three, four. And then they correspond to phedrenic, whatever it does. Is the number to put in. Oh, okay. That's how this so, works. In other words, you've got one shot at this. Yeah, I figured as much. Oh, great. Okay. Um, Di diary note? Diary note. That's the laboratory thing. Okay, so this isn't going to work. What do you mean? We need the poster from the dumb... Uh, well, I can tell you that this was hallucinogenic... This was sleep something. This one ca causes cataton catatonia. This one was antidote. Okay, okay. For... So one is aggression, would be one. So one is the first number. This one was hallucinogenic. Yeah. Which would be nar narcotic. narcotic. So it's one four. Sleptremic is the catatonia. Cat so one that's... four three two. Yes. Okay, so that's the right? password. Yep. Right? Try lock. One, four, three, two. 
Alright. Anner. We good. Oh, oh. <laughs> and this is when Crunchy's like, Crunchy, oh, Crunchy is up. <laughs> Congratulating yourself on your pharmacological expertise. All right, all right. Let me read it. <laughs> you key the correct code and receive a vial of medugula as your reward. They certainly don't seem short on this stuff you consider. All right. Okay. So. Didn't you run a bone, mate? Go to cell, I guess. Now we go to the cell. Yeah, so go to the cell. Oh, hey there. Hey, it's uh, Len. Hey, how's it going, buddy? <laughs> when you were last down here, you found zombified prisoners and rotting flesh, so it's a surprise to see Len looking quite healthy. Also naked. <laughs> He's quite and also naked. Quite, <laughs> quite naked. <laughs> he drinks whiskey from a heavy glass decanter and smiles shyly at you from a crouched position. His ankles are chained to the floor. Round well, of applause. We're not making these hard. <laughs> <laughs> Care for a snifter? He says the ambience isn't great down here, but at least we're away from Captain Creepy and mentalists. Go down. Uh, so what's the diary note flashing for? I don't know. We'll click it. You show Len and note and he laughs. Amazing thing Dr. K is the sanest one here, isn't it? Although that's the most charismatic trans spotter award. Well, I'm ridiculous. Okay, but so this is just him. Yeah, it was just him. It was just him, him and giving, him. giving us a clue. Yeah. Well, we already got that. There you go. Got it. Are you okay? Yeah. Um, you mean I am going to turn into a ravenous zombie any second? Break from my chains and eat you alive? I wouldn't worry. They haven't ejected me yet. I've had what they call the pre-op, which consists of Rob stripping me and chaining me up. He seemed to enjoy that a bit too much. Mm. I bet he wears satin knickers under those leather trousers. Mm-hmm. All right. What happened? Well, Rob Zavaller compelled me to take a lovely road trip here with your friends and Elf who proceeded to invent a story about how you and I killed Rob's brother. I'd trust that girl about as far as I can throw her. She crazy. I think they took your <laughs> friends to one of the bedrooms. All right. Can you help uh, me? Can you help me? Well, I can lend you this. He yeah, hands you a Swiss, Swiss Army, Army knife, Army which knife. has been painted with the colors of Mercia. Blue and yellow. Blue and yellow, yep. These mm -hmm. always come in useful. Always knew I'd end up in this cell, so I hid it inside. Don't right. you need it, yes? Don't worry about me. I've loosened the chain, so I'm not a helpless as I seem. And anyone who tries to inject me is going to get a real shock when he meets the other item I hid. Len raises a heavy decanter as if making a toast. As a bonus, it keeps the cold out, too. Mm -hmm. Cool. Maybe I, Maybe can warm... I can warm you up instead. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> wink, wink. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Nudge, nudge, nudge. Okay, wait. All right, you know what? I, I gotta know. Argument. I gotta know. Len raises his eyebrows at your request and puts the tanker down. You know, I might just take you up on that offer. With no warning, he reaches a strong arm across your waist and pulls you onto his lap. You Hello. instinctively reach out and wrap your arms around his body to keep your balance, <laughs> scenting whiskey and aftershave. With only the thin fabric of your tunic in between your bodies, he pulls you right against his chest and kisses you for a long time. Mm. You still haven't gotten your breath back when he releases you. Taken aback, you almost stumble over the man's leg and bring your hand down for your balance. You mm -hmm. quickly pull your hand back mm -hmm. but find the floor at the second attempt. I, I, you begin. I know, he says, you've got important things to do. I shouldn't keep you. Looks like you've warmed me up, too, now. <laughs> Taking another draw of whiskey, you stand up, patting yourself down with as much dignity as you can muster. Uh-huh. All Are right. you okay? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, so let's leave. Yeah. All right, no, 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 what happened? No, he already told us. All right, so leave. Okay. Okay, so, uh. <laughs> yes, hello, hello puppy. <laughs> hello, sweetie. Okay, yes, so leave laboratory. Cute. All right, leave laboratory. All right, so now uh, we should so probably go to the go parlor. To the parlor? Yeah, okay. You're in the parlor where it first uh, spoke to Ozzy approximately a lifetime ago, a grandfather clock seroneously marks the second, and you spot a message in the window panel you hadn't noticed before. Examine panel. All right. The engraved message reads, Amidst the hour of witching beneath the blue moon's gaze, passage will be granted, <laughs> but what goes through me stays. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you get a one-way entrance to a secret door behind this where you put in midnight. Mm -hmm. When weather examining, you find slight gaps in the panel that could well indicate that there may be more than meets the eye here. Spotting a notepad on the table, you jot down the poem for future reference. All right. Examine the table. So, examine the table. Uh, the old-fashioned table contains a blank pad of Marciaco paper, some cheap plastic pens, and a small key, which you take. <laughs> examine the grandfather clock. Okay. 
Amidst the silence of the parlor, the grandfather clock takes on the imposing personality of its own. You wonder if there's anything you can do with it, but there's no obvious way to open it except for our army knife. Yes, our sweet army knife. You take off the army knife and fan out strange tools. The spork and fish scaler are unlikely to be useful, but the screwdriver most certainly is, and you quickly remove the panel of the grandfather clock. Now what? Examine the clock's innards? I would examine the innards. Oh, gosh, there's a... You are uh, viewing the inner workings of the mansion stately grandfather clock. It doesn't seem too much effort to change the time and date now, but you hope you'll achieve more than make Ozzy late for appointments. So let's go with just throwing this out there. Uh, 10, 31, midnight. <laughs> well, 10, 31, midnight. Alright. But <laughs> <laughs> You didn't quite prepare yourself for how loud the chimes would be right by your ears, but you allow yourself a moment's triumph as well as the panel slides up and opens a stone stairwell <laughs> as your hearing returns. You ponder the last line of the stanza, what goes through me stays, meaning if you go through there, this is a one way. Alright. So, uh, do you actually want to go through it? Or do Let's you not go through it yet, because I feel like if we don't have the proper things, this ain't going to go well. So leave parlor. Uh, so we've already been in the kitchen. We go to the antechamber. The door to the antechamber is locked, but there is a letter box. It's tonight! No. Yes, it's tonight. The letter box <laughs> slot size opening at eye level, which you slide back the night from open front door is your only light source, and it takes some adjustment for you to notice moving silhouette shuffling around the room, picking up drawers, and then using a pin beam of light to read documents. You can take an educated guess at who the shady figure is. It should be Blue Valkyrie. Yeah. Blue Hello, Valkyrie. Blue Valkyrie. The torch beam shot <laughs> off, know. and the figure freezes and then moves <laughs> to the doorway, seemingly unsure about whether to flee. I got your walkie-talkie, you say, in a tone of voice you might use while approaching a timid animal. I don't mm -hmm. like Ozzy either. I'm your friend. We can help each other. This has no impact on the figure, and you realize you're giving... To have to force their hand, time to raise the stakes. All right. Hello? Claire, Daisy, Dave, Dr. Kurva, Elf, or Faye, Len, Ozzy, Rob, Tezza. All right. So, uh... I'm going to throw this out there. What? Tezza. Why do you say Tezza? Because you asked if this guy was smarter than you thought before, was the statement that was said. Ah, saying. that's right, yes. A boom! Ah, it was Tezza! Good guess. The figure guess pauses guess. for some time and then walks back into the room. All right, you got me, he says, and the flicks on the light. What can Terry do for you? Uh, what are you doing? I'm doing my job, my real job, with <laughs> bugger all success so far. The man's voice is far more... What? A Cedric? Yeah. Then the Acerbic. office joker you remember. There's only one realistic way that Ozzy can carry out his plans. I need to stop it. All Why right. can't you get reinforcements? You seem more cheerful than the, in the finance office. Can I help? Alright, so... Uh, why can't you get reinforcements? Why can't you get reinforcements? Ozzy has a lot of friends top. in politics. <laughs> if we want to make this off official, we need to make our case... To the interior ministry, in which case we may as well start well singing done. our plans. Well done, you're still on course for both good endings. Ah, oh, sweet! Yeah, look at us go. High five. Yes. yes. <laughs> we still need to put our case to the interior ministry, in which case we may as well start singing our plans outside his office like a sodding barbershop quartet and have done with it. <laughs> this assignment's barely legal as it is. All right. Uh, so can you I help? You seem more cheerful than the finance laws. Sure, go ahead. <laughs> no, Tezza was more cheerful, because Tezza needed to be... Uh, cocked up moron to stay sane with that secretary orders from Daisy Snagglepuss or whatever she's called and a minimum wage paycheck to look forward to. I don't know how anyone copes with his office crap in the real world. I still can't believe what happened to honestly, Gemma Flowers. Honestly, I don't think anybody... Uh... Okay, so can I help? Yeah. Oh, can I help? If you can get me in, that would be great. But there's no way. The place is locked down and oh. the dire wolves don't get me. Zombie girl will... Well, he pauses and get, seems to reach a conclusion. Look, take this. This has a nasty bit, little bit of code inside of it that just might work. We've used thermal cameras and there's a lot of power being used on the top floor. 
Once you get there, we'll know what to do. Tara reaches to the door slot and passes you a memory stick. All right. Right, nice knowing you. Can't chat all night. Thanks, he's, you say. But what do I do? What do I... But the lights have gone out and you're talking in the darkness. Okay, so leave. All right, so leave. All right, so now... Okay, so go down. What are our options here? Go to the here? parlor. No, no, no. Go back. Go... Okay, all right. What are our options here? We already went downstairs, didn't we? Yes. We went to the antechamber. We went to the parlor. Go back to the kitchen. Okay. So go down. We could go outside. If the medicine There's has... There's a key here. We is it flashing? This. Yeah, it's flashing. Use it. Right, so we'll use the small key in You here. open the panel, which reveals an open section in the wall less than a foot across. Oh, it's far too phone. small to enter, and several small ropes hang down on the floor above the other... One below. It takes you a few moments to realize that it's passage for a dumb waiter. Another moment, you hear voices coming from above. So does this count as a win or not? Dave and I don't care. I've got to record it for our scrapbook. <laughs> We're on 6.67 win percent. Uh. <laughs> this would move us up to 12.5. Oh, yeah! Dave, have you ever had to remove a glass bottle from a rectum before? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Guys, you blurt out, and your companion's bickering turns to the light. So glad you're okay, says Claire. Where are you? You really are the recent events to the horror of your friends. All right, what happened? Uh, so Rob and that hot barmaid drove us here, says Claire. Gave us a choice, too, continues Dave. Either come with us or I'll blow your heads off. Oh, well, that's a good choice. It's always nice to have a choice. Yeah, <laughs> then we're marched into the castle along with that Len guy who's also kind of cute. Ooh. Mm. Then Alf had us change into more appropriate attire. I've seen your willy sings, Claire. That's uh, great, Claire, you interrupt. Mm -hmm. Wait, what are you doing? Go down. Mm -hmm. uh, that's great, Claire, you interrupt. Anyway, we're up here. I don't know where Len is. <clears throat> All right, so where uh, are you? Where are you? We're locked in someone's bedroom on the fourth floor. We already know that. Yeah. It's set on the door. You're correct. She's a zombie, isn't she? Asked Claire. I wouldn't want to run into her in a dark night. You're not wrong there, he says, with feeling. All right, so can you help me? Sure. Let me explain the situation, says Dave, in the most condescending tone of voice. We are locked in someone's bedroom, dressed like we're doing The Hobbit for a school play. How much help are you expecting? I don't know, Bilbo, you apply. Can you think of anything? No need to be like that, babes, says Claire. If you find anything we can help with, then show us and we can do our best. Uh, yeah. so, what's the moon bomb? Hit the moon bomb. I'm assuming this is going to help them. You tell your friends about what you found in the parlor and read the poem out. At least this sounds like a real quiz question. So this is the grandfather clock thing. Is it? Yeah. Is this the grandfather clock uh, thing? Yes. He really likes his secret passage, says Claire. There's probably something fertilin going on there. Let's break this down, says Dave. The hour of witching possibly means a witching hour. That usually means midnight. Blue moon has several meanings. The best is the second full moon in the calendar month. No idea when we last had one of those, though. We already got that right. Sorry to, sorry to throw that out there, guys. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. So, so we already know what happened. We asked if they kitchen. could help. Yeah, so leave kitchen. All right. So now the Unless we want to go outside. I mean, do you really want to go outside? But outside could just mean death. And I don't know yeah. why we need Faye's help anyway. Or oh, yeah. the Austin thing. I but. mean, I, I don't think we currently really need her. The zombie So let's lady. go to the parlor and let's go downstairs. All right. So we'll go to the parlor and enter passage. Yes. Yes. Okay. No sooner you step through the doorway, then the whole panel slams shut behind you, plunging you into near darkness. Once your eyes adjust, you make out a light at the top of the stone staircase. You don't appear to have much choice for your next movements. So this right. is us probably going upstairs. Most yes. likely, yeah. yeah. Rain has seeped <laughs> in the stairway, and the slippery steps touch your balance to the limit. A broken neck is very re real prospect. The slimy rocks to your side offer little help, and sitting in front of you are three dolls. You must be approaching you could use Daisy's bedroom. The diary note to work it out, except you've already done it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, Crunchy. If that was yeah, the diary note had moon faces yeah. on it. Yeah. If that wasn't strange enough, you feel, then you feel a spray of fine mist against your face. It has an unpleasant chemical smell to it, and you smear, you swear you hear a nasty chuckling. Okay. All right, so, uh, so attack the dolls. Don't Why run not? upstairs. We're going to die. Um, Just climb stairs. Climb stairs. 
Alright, cloud stay. Uh, and beautiful pea green boat. <laughs> they took some honey and plenty of money wrapped up in five pound note. The owl looked up to the stars above and sang to a small guitar. Oh, lovely, blah, 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 blah. What a beautiful... <laughs> you are, you are, you are. Okay, so... I'm just gonna say stay still. Sure. Cause... They look demonic. Yeah, I, I don't really want to attack the dolls because I feel like we're gonna die if we do that. So let's just, you All know... Right. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, go down. Charmingly sweet, you sing. Let us be married. But we shall do for a ring and a sailed away, blah, blah, blah. It's poem. Poem. Yeah, yeah. His poem, nose, poem, his poem. nose. Okay. Why, why is the... Woo. We what? need to move now. Wait, what? Look. Run, run upstairs. Run upstairs? I love Coco's expression. <laughs> <laughs> run upstairs. Run upstairs. All right. Against all common sakes, you take the greases downstairs at a sprint. You escape from the dolls, suffering only a broken neck and death after your footing gives way. And you can down the stairs. I know, I know, you were under a lot of pressure, but it seems that you... <laughs> Try again. We are first death. Good job, James. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> we the were dolls trying are... to go with the no death We wanted run. a perfect <laughs> run. Try again. All right. Okay, so, so climb, climb stairs. stairs. I, we need to get fast. What a, Attack dolls. I think we have to attack dolls. All right, we'll attack the dolls. You aren't afraid of no dolls and catch one of the, with a punch to the face. You kick the next one and instantly unbalance your kids. <laughs> we died. Uh-huh. I told you we were going to die if we attacked the dolls. <laughs> All right, okay, so, so we just have to climb the stairs. Climb I guess we just stairs. have to stay still and wait for this whole thing. All right, so climb stairs. Climb stairs. Okay, so... Okay, right, so now stay still. Stay still. And go down and stay still still. Stay still. You really like to get up in the old business, don't you? First death. Woo, sorry. <laughs> uh, they dance by the light of the moon. Untrained swords talk to scald. Stay still. No. Silty salt. Strain. That's, uh... I... Just pick something, I'm gonna say... Silty. Sure, that. You, you, <laughs> escape from the past. you find yourself in Daisy Fluffington's bedroom. Daisy. Oh, hey, Daisy. The How woman bears down on you with the wrath of the gods while hundreds of dolls gaze down from the shelf as if spectators, <laughs> as a creepy calls him. Usurper! Did you really think sucking up to Oswald would help you? You um, may have fooled me, but I know what you are and what you're planning. You know he thinks you're dead. Well, I'd hate to disappoint him. Do, do you, you do know that I don't like dolls, right? Yes, I know that you're poor some dolls. She hates them. Yeah, I hate them. I hate them with Reason passion. with Daisy, fight Daisy, grab a doll, or run down the stairs. Spooky thing. I showed Mike the image of one of the dolls, and he said his sister has that doll. Oh, that's Ooh. creepy. That is horrifying. Okay, go, go. pick one. Um, we try to reason with Daisy. Grab a doll. Sure, grab a doll. I mean, why she's, not? she's wanting. She won't want them to be damaged, so she'll yeah. reason with it. Grab a doll. You hastily <laughs> pick up uh, the nearest doll as if it might bite, and Daisy also starts to look less assured. What are you? What? What are you doing? She asks before recovering. Put him down right away. Uh, throw, throw doll, doll in the doll air. In the yes. air. You throw the doll to the ceiling, and Daisy's anger turns to blind panic. Murderer, she shouts, and races forward, leaping in the air. She catches the doll, but stumbles over your outstretched leg to receive a one-way trip to the bottom of the stairs. All right. So, uh... uh look around the room. We don't care about Daisy. We don't care about Daisy. You look around, the dolls look back, seemingly to pass judgment on you as if to poke and prod around the room. Along with Daisy's own medications, you find an empty bottle marked Medugulin which she must have used to drug you. There doesn't seem to be anything useful here. <laughs> it's scrunchy says, I think they threw it away <laughs> after that. You know, honestly, I would, I would not blame uh, them. <laughs> so, do we want to check Daisy? I mean, I guess. That's sure. the only other option to do. You have absolutely no desire to tackle the stairs again, but look down into the dark past. Despite the lack of light, they're pretty sure Daisy's, about Daisy's fate, nobody's head should be at that angle of their body. <laughs> Besides her, the doll's eyes look up into you into yours, you really want to be somewhere else right now. Okay, so... Yeah, let's just leave bedroom. That yeah, we already like looked the, around the bedroom, so... Sounds like the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
That's he a leaves the room and in a corner which displays a grotesque painting that brings back memories of frustration. Yes. Uh, that is a very frustrating It wasn't that frustrating a puzzle for us in the first game. Oh, yeah. That's right. <laughs> I, I remember we did have to use this picture. Uh, yeah. You wonder if the journey is nearing its class. Gold-plated name tags on three doors read Daisy Fluffinin, Alfred Mendes, Austria Mendes, behind a gate with a small padlock. The stairs lead upstairs. The adjacent gate descending to the ground floor appears far m- more securely locked. So let's see if we can get right. into Stentia's room to yeah. get our friends out. Okay, well, we can try. Thing you can hear a scratching of conversa- snatching of conversations from Faye's room. You approach as quietly as you can and listen through the keyhole. Do you think she likes me? Dave Elf probably thinks anything with a penis. Fantastic. Probably like everything with a penis. You gently <laughs> wrap the door and hear two anguished gasps. <gasps> it's only me, you say. <laughs> oh, thank goodness, babe. Says Claire, can you get us out of here? Try the handle? Try the handle. Why not? You rattle the handle with no avail. Go figure. Nice thinking, Sherlock says, Dave, we had tried that, then no, I can't think of anything you say more sharply than you anticipate pondering your next move. You hear soft footsteps behind you and a shadow forms beneath your feet. Turn around, or try to break the door down. Turn around, sure. It's Rob. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Hey, hey, it's a zombie fay. <laughs> Expecting the worst, you turn around and stid- stifle a scream as the zombie fay. You stop yourself. No, it's just fay. Hello, she says with a quizzical <laughs> gaze. I feel I know you from somewhere. You have no immediate response. <laughs> I never locked my door, so I had to get a key from Daisy. Did you kill her? <laughs> Faye talks in the detached manner of someone who wouldn't be surprised by anything anymore and needs to grab the wall to stay upright. I mean... Uh, yes, you say. She simply nods. Let's go inside. Okay. All right, so we're just going in her room. <laughs> Hey, look, there's uh, well, our Well, my friends. goodness, Claire, you're looking very dashing. <laughs> they can't manage to turn the key and lock, and you do it for her while keeping her upright with an arm around her shoulder. I'll be okay after a nap, she says with a brittle laugh. Your friends look re- relieved as you enter and puzzled as they spot your friend. She turns to you, mirroring in their confusion. They're okay, you reassure her. That's enough for Faye, and she nods putting before putting her mouth to your ear. My memories. My memories are all <laughs> squiffled now, but I know what you did. She plants a kiss on your cheek, stumbles past your friends, and collapses asleep into her bed. Hmm. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, Talk there to your we friends. go. I was gonna say we lost our uh, sound for a second. We were like, Talk "Where'd to the that friends. go?" <laughs> Looking good, you say, noticing Claire's in historic regalia and Dave mm-hmm. in surgical scrubs. He notices your <laughs> impression. <laughs> And passes in eating a grandly presented meal. You got the last tunic, he says. Elf got this from the pharmacy for me. Nice. It was the closest they had. Mm-hmm. Don't worry, he's not harvesting kidneys again, teases Claire. <laughs> Just stealing food from the dumbwaiter. Ah, I'd nice. stay away from Elf. You watch your friend's shocked expressions as you relay your drama about Elf and Daisy, Len, and Rob. Wow, mm-hmm. says Dave. What are you going to do? I wish we could help, says Claire, but the guards will shoot us on sight if we leave. We oh. we know you can stop Ozzy. Dave then surprised you by getting up and giving you a hug. I believe in you, he says. Oh, Dave. Thanks, Crunchy! Thanks, Crunchy, you the best. <laughs> okay. So we are so we that. were back in the hallway. All right, so I guess... Uh, Daisy's room we've already been in. Authentia's room we've already been in. So we gotta go in Alfred's room. Well, that was You open Alfred's door to find her in a terrible way. She's in (laughs) floods of tears, handcuffed to the bed, and in a state of semi-undress. She's always in a state of semi-undress. I mean, yeah. What's new with that? She sneaks awkwardly through sobs and a strap that's tied around her face. Were you getting kinky with Rob? It was Rob, she said. Oh, okay. (laughs) (laughs) He told me I'm being disobedient. Please help me. Following your recent experiences, you stay alert and look around the room before entering, spotting a small key on the table, which you take. Crunchy goes, I'm nice, really. (laughs) So unlock the handcuffs. All right. I don't know. She's kind of crazy. Just unlock her. You (laughs) kneel down to help Elf, getting a scent of perfume to take her hands. Bringing the restraints towards you, you squeeze, squeezes yours back. There's a small keyhole, but the key doesn't quite fit. That one's for the stairs, she says. You'll have to find another, but now you've got the cuffs open, and all you did was accidentally <laughs> press a release catch. 
She could probably oh, have freed herself if she wanted. What happened, you asked? What happened, she asked? Or she whispered? Putting her arms around your back. And bringing her face oh, to yours. Oh, no, here we go. Is that my gallant <laughs> hero who had rescued me? And we've got some time to kill. She presses her body against yours, and you feel her tongue brush around your oh, lips. Oh, gosh. And then slide in between. Wait, oh, she gosh. says, pushing you gently back. I need you to get changed. Could you turn around a minute? Oh, gosh. Uh, leave the corridor. Oh, uh, yeah, we're just going to leave. Bye, bye. <laughs> okay. Okay, so can we go upstairs? Okay, so. Use the key. Oh, yeah, we can use the key now, right? Yeah. As okay. you turn the key, you think your foot hear footsteps, but their location is hard to place. It's probably nothing, but you don't think. Okay. All right, so climb so stairs. So climb stairs. Well, oh, no. well, you turn around to be greeted by gruff and out-of-breath voice. I've been all around the hill or around the castle, but it was worth it. Oh, yes, it was worth it. You back up the stairs, but Rob is advancing towards you and brandishing his roller. So how do we do this? I could shoot you right here and now, but I think the cell is where you belong. Very wise. Oh, Chris, she says very wise that we love to Maybe a good dose of <laughs> is what you need. Make you nice and helpless. Don't worry, I'm sure to come and visit you wherever that you want. I want something mm. to do. Uh, you think you can hear more footsteps, but they're very faint. Fight Rob, play for time. Play for time. Let's play for time. Why not? <laughs> Is that the stuff that makes you a vicious zombie? What? No, Robert. Blood. It means sleep <laughs> drink. You're thinking of Frederick. That's the warrior's drug. It makes blah. You try not to give the give, give the give the game away and with eye contact. But Rob has sensed the presence of Len behind him. And he turns on the spot to meet a heavily whiskey decanter full on the forehead. Several oh, shots geez. go off as Rob's arm wildly flails and Len drops to the ground, clutching his leg. Ouch. Blood from both men pull on the carpet, but only Len remains conscious. Lovely. Talk All to right. Len. Let's talk to Len. Thanks, buddy. Let me help you, you say, noticing with relief that Rob's bullets ended up in the wall. I'll be fine, says Len through clenched teeth. Daisy's mm. got almost got enough hurt. meds in her room to bring the dead back to life. I'm sure she'll have enough for a thigh wound. He manages to grin, and after I've patched myself up, I think I'll give Rob... A guided tour of the cells if he's still alive, that is. <laughs> Len pauses in thought, then takes Rod's <laughs> he's revolver. He's nearly there, but you've got a big decision coming up. Oh, no. He uh, clenches the cylinder, then pats the man's pocket and swears. Well, this isn't going to be of much use anymore, he says. And what should I do? I do. Mm. Len considers your question with a thoughtful look. You know, he says, there's a school of thought that believes only all rulers and governments are fundamentally flawed There's people who... <laughs> See, power are unsuitable to wield it. The spy might want to destroy Ozzy's operation, but why not leave it standing and just destroy Ozzy instead? I reckon you can. Imagine leading a land of fairness, equality, and no more being a wage slave to some pompous... I just... Because he's been born rich, and that's how everyone you in the world has to work. Have a think about it. Okay. So we can either assume the throne or... Destroy it all is essentially what's going to happen in the end. Very interesting. Onward! All right, let's go up the stairs. Oh, hey, You reach the top of the castle to see light shining off swords, pikes, and suits of armor from times long past. The armor is furnished with long wooden tables and chairs on the most elaborate of which sits like Oswald Mendez, who smiles as you enter. Do you hear the music? Yeah. I knew you'd get here, he says. Like One it. can almost believe in the inevitability of events. There exists a flame of glory, a goodness that never dies. It can be concealed by the rottenness of fools and traitors, sometimes for centuries, but it will always be set free. And here we both are, not by chance either. You have proven your worth, after all. And now, now the hour is upon us, and we shall drink to your, our success. Ozzy stands and bows. He performs to a galley of ghosts from times long past. For all you know, maybe he is. All right. Look around, talk to let's Oswald, look, fight Oswald. Let's look around a little bit. Talking in the room. <laughs> taking in the room, you spot two armed guards in the corner who you first took to be suits of armor due to their stillness and the ridiculousness, the ridiculous uniforms Oswald has them in. The historic theme doesn't extend to their weaponry, which is of the kill you with one pull of the trigger <laughs> variety. Yeah, you so also see a small open, open shaft, which must be the dumb waiter that leads to the kitchen. All right, so talk to Oswald. Sure, talk to Oswald. <laughs> fight, on, fight, 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 f
right, yes. So what's happening exactly, Ross? But then here, someone Whoa, running hey. up the stairs. Elf. The guards step forward, but then halt as an angry elf it enters the room. I just spoke to Len, says Elf. You're not really going to do this, are you, Daddy? Our ancestors fought terrible battles for their glory, declaims Menez. Wait a minute. I think that's a typo. Manny has. I thought there was D in his name. <laughs> Is there? I thought there was. Ah, oh well. Declares <laughs> Manny as if reading from an internal script. Well, all we have to do is kill thousands of people, retorts Elf. And for what? She approaches her father. Some crazy parody of a past that never was? I like to make believe with my dresses and things, but at least I know it's just pretend. Enough, Alfred, whispers Oswald. And you know nothing about history anyways. It was disease, famine, slavery. Not Lancelot riding around on a unicorn. Language, Alfred! <laughs> Oswald backhands his daughter. Across the face, and she you didn't sits spot any down typo. on the verge. See, you didn't spot a typo. <laughs> what are you doing, man? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I did. No. And she sits down on the verge of tears. Now Oswald turns to you. While we wait for the wine to send the dumbwaiter, you may go to the ramparts. And you will see what is necessary. He waves an arm to the doorway. Go to the ramparts. All right, so let's go to the ramparts. You All gratefully right. lead the armory to an outdoor walkway with stunning nighttime views of Clayton and beyond. And you wonder about all the people whose rooms you see are as pinprick of light. The wind and rain against your skin feel almost like a blessing after the castle interior. What's less welcome is a cacophonous buzzing sound. Yes, I noticed that. Which gets mm-hmm. louder the further you walk. Turning away from the view, you pinpoint the source to be the stacks of cages next to a large box with a tarpaulin covering it. Don't be too long, you hear Ozzy shout, making you realize you might only have a ch- one chance out here on the ramparts. Alright, so examine cages. That's the zombies. Yes. Okay. <laughs> you almost scream as does the giant buzzing spiders hover buzzing spiders. about within Ew. the cages. <laughs> Chicks of light oh. glisten off their metallic no. surfaces, and you quickly recover your senses to realize that they're drones. Oh, drones, okay. This realistic fa- fails, realization fails to reassure you at the top of the cage are signed half-red Fendrick Waverns and half-red Slimdrick Waverns. So he's going to put in catatonic sleep and zombies. Yeah. So, examine box? Examine box. You shift up the tarpon to reveal a computer oh, console. Oh, hey! We can uh, put in the memory stick here. Yes. The screen displays a map of the British Isles with the information besides the largest city. You read Liverpool 1 hour London 3.5 Glasgow 5. Beneath which the words countdown to cage release are next to the timer which has just passed below the 10 minute mark. Sure, throw the... D- I mean, why yeah, not just throw the memory stick in there? You place the USB oh. stick to the console and a minute message. Terminate launch beside a big red button and that pales everything around it in magnificence. So... Push the button to terminate launch. Do we do it? Woo! Do we save the everybody? The immediately switches off and a smell of burning emanates from the console. Oh, gosh. You turn to the cage drones, which crackle with electric surge and fall flat, emitting smoke. They all light up with a bang, which makes you jump until the release that a firework has exploded in the air above you. Looking down to the hill, you see a silhouetted man suddenly drenched in light, his face up to you and waves good shouts blue Valkyrie. now you better make yourself scarce all make right yourself make scarce. yourself scarce let's do it you pace down bunny hill alongside the same path you took when you first came here for an interview some hundred years ago <laughs> and importantly away from the road up which police cars speed with their sirens wait a minute wearing. wait a minute did we actually just win this yes we did Woo! You've spared yeah. the world's Mozzie's dream of resurrecting Mercia, and now it's time to leave That's the awesome. pitch and go home. Your friends walk beside you in silence, stepping, stopping to look up at the helicopter as it focuses its beams on Bunny Hill Castle. Claire Bear turns to you with a sigh. <sighs> you know you really can't hold down a job, can you, babe? <laughs> oh, my goodness. The end. <laughs> All right. Oh, that was good, Craig. You've completed the Bunny Hill Horror. Congratulations. You're amazing. Oh, that was awesome. Awesome. Well, we reached the end of Bunny Hill Saga. Thanks for playing, and I hope you've had fun. It's been emotional as ever. Comments, critiques, ratings, and follows are all very welcome. And as always, do my best to respond. We're starting work on a detective game now. Ooh, Ooh, so feel free to see how Crunchy game. Bright Games is getting on, or see if you can get a different ending on this. 
Did you get the submit the Aussie one? The submit to Aussie one. I bet you did. No, we didn't. No, no, we didn't. We didn't get the submit to Aussie. I don't think. I we bet did. you did, Dom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, awesome. That's actually really. Your cool, decision Frenchie. was whether or not to press it. By the way, uh, I did okay. think of that because you okay. could assume the throne, or not. Or not. Yes. Okay. That was awesome. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. I really Frenchie. liked that, Crunchy. That was a that fun was... way to spend lockdown Halloween. Yes, it was. Yeah, it was. Good time. I actually like this. <laughs> yes. And now we're going to be switching over to some uh, cooperative uh, Halloween games. 